hold tight. It's spring watch. The same way you don't blame a baby for taking a poo in a nappy, huh? it's the same way I don't blame Stellini for doing a terrible job at Spurs. It's a bit of a weird analogy. <laughs> Um, I don't want no hugs. I don't want no no one hugging me. Stevie Wonder could have seen that this guy was not going to be a good appointment for Spurs, even in the short term. Shut up, bitch! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> how's it going people oh, welcome God. back to the channel and welcome back to the big six with the full team fit and ready to go obviously the last one was quite a shake up and it was an interesting one to say the least big up everyone that took part in that big up toves for the hosting duties and yeah big up matisse he was obviously there as well but listen we've got a lot to talk about tonight we've got a lot to talk about tonight we you know we have to catch up um, we must talk about a, a couple teams, mine included, and we will talk people. But hit the like button. Let's get it up to a thousand likes. And Saeed, you nodded there. We'll talk about United and the Europa League as well, because I haven't spoken to you yet about that. Really, that's past, man. We don't need to go back. That's past. <laughs> <laughs> that was yeah. because what we need to talk about. It come out, man. We'll talk about anything, my guy. Your team's included in that, man. Don't worry about it's that. So listen, let's get it to a thousand likes nice and early. We've passed 400 already. We've got two point. 9k in the building so i'm sure that can happen now 2000 before the show ends and make sure you show some love to manscape 20 percent off tb620 is the code you already know what it is people show them some love and you're showing us some love the channel some love and we keep it moving big up you big up saeed grizz toves matisse all channel links in the description and skull fuggery his channel link is in the description as well, people. As always, the Big Six channel is there too. Big Six Extra is back tomorrow night, 10 p.m. So make sure you're there locked in for that one as well, people. And yeah, should we get into it? I mean, I thought we'd start at top of the league, but the intro kind of dictated maybe where to start from. It's, it's up to you. I don't, I don't mind. I don't really care. <sighs> Both just as shocking as each other I guess because Arsenal top of the league against Southampton it's a bit of a madness I can't lie but I've never seen a 20 minutes like that in my life against <laughs> against Newcastle for Tottenham so I'm happy to go wherever man I, I, I've prepared for, for this so I'm, I'm ready Tottenham, man. I just, just, I just wonder is that the first blow is that the first blow from Newcastle kicking Tottenham out of the big six saying you know get out man your time's up is that the is that something we can expect now in the future I wonder is is Tottenham's time coming uh, to there's, there's absolute no doubt in my mind. Like, you guys are all questioning Liverpool's right trajectory and like sort of place in the big six from now on. And I'm assuming it's all banter. Let me look at all your faces. Assuming it was all banter, yeah? Okay. So How have you mentioned Liverpool already? <laughs> so I'm just... I'm oh. Out. Because I'm a Liverpool rep. I ain't spoken to Liverpool for about a month in there. Like, yeah, but even like, when... Welcome back. Even are you happy when to see me? Are you happy to see me? I'm delighted to see you. I literally you, said said you, 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 you miss me. You miss me, right? Yeah, yeah I miss you. But I'm just asking okay. how you managed right, to make so, it. So shut the fuck up and listen. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> nah, if you I miss me, listen. this is what you missed, didn't it? Like, you didn't miss, like, you missed this. This is what I you didn't missed. Miss this, bro. I didn't miss this. <laughs> you missed this, bro? <laughs> nah, I didn't miss this. You didn't miss oh, this. You got yeah, I had a smile on your face for like, how <laughs> long? Hey, people, how long has he had not had a smile on his face? I don't yeah, you, you brought it out of him. Fair play. I put a smile on his face, and man, still saying, hey, bringing up I'm bringing up Liverpool because you lot were all questioning Liverpool's place in a big six, yes or no. But really, Huey's got know. a mad point. Like, Huey's come with a bombshell. The first point Huey's made is a bombshell. And I think you're spot on, Huey. I think this was passing off the baton. Like, Spurs, get out. You know what I mean? Away the lads. Because that was, <laughs> that was away the lads. Away, man. Away, man. I don't indeed. think anyone's questioned Liverpool being a long term you, top. Oh, player. you did. Oh, you did. You did. No, I didn't. I said you're not going to finish in it this season. I've you never did. questioned. Now, next you. season, you said, what makes you think you're going to be back, back, back? No, 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 no. You were talking with absolute certainty that you're going to be back to the level that you no, were at. What certainty, man? What certain life? Words. Certain life is death, taxes, 
and that's Spurs being Spursy. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only thing. That's the only certainties in life. Yes or no, peoples? Come on. That's true. Yeah, that's true. That's true. yeah there's no certainties, man. I said I believe Liverpool will be back. Well, there's there's a clearer be. road for Liverpool coming back than there is right now for Tottenham. I don't know where this ends for Tottenham. I don't know how they move forward. You've got Daniel Levy making Mickey Mouse statements, you know, come on, you Spurs and all this kind of stuff. Mason's coming in. He knows the club. He understands the place. He's going to fix it all. What the fuck's going on? Can we read the have, I have, you know what? You know what? We should have You know what? We should have the statement up. Like, can someone read? I haven't read the statement. Has he made the statement? He, he has made a statement, yeah. He hasn't made a statement. statement. That's all it says. Well, ask your kid to write a statement and it'll be written this one. It's, a, it's absolutely brutal. Toes, what's the statement saying? Can you read it for us? I'm not going to read it. You can go read it. <laughs> we should share the screen, man. Matisse, share the screen or something, man. Do one of them. Well, hold on. Let me try to find. We need to read this statement, man, from your boss, the owner. He's not Mr. Feeling Spurs. Spurs. Um, best, best owner in the land, according to someone on this panel. <laughs> Best owner in the land. <laughs> Who said that? Turkish, yeah, isn't it? He knows, he knows himself. Oh, Turkish, isn't it? <laughs> he knows himself. Um, the statement is as reads: um, Dear all, Sunday's performance against Newcastle was wholly unacceptable. It was mm. devastating to see. It. Um, we look at many reasons why it happened, and whilst myself, the board, the coaches and the players must all take collective responsibility. Ultimately, the responsibility is mine. Um, Christian will leave his current role along with his coaching staff. Christian stepped in at a difficult point in our season. I want to thank him for his profession, professional manner in which he and his coaching staff have conducted themselves during such a challenging time. Uh, we wish him and his staff very well. Ryan Mason will take over head coach duties with immediate effect. Ryan Ooh. knows the club more than you can believe, and the players well. We shall update further on his coaching staff in due course. Um, I met with the players' committee. The squad det is determined to pull together to ensure the strongest possible finish to the season. We are all clear we need to deliver performances which earn your amazing support. Come on, you Spurs. Daniel. Oh, that Daniel. Ended. Did he really? I thought he was joking. <laughs> that ended is mad. <laughs> Daniel. The, is nuts. the way he says Daniel, like as if they know, like they're brethren. <laughs> I thought I thought Huey was joking when he said that he said, oh. Come on, you Spurs. Yeah, <laughs> nah, it's just Daniel. Daniel you know. Oh, it's just Daniel. He's trying, trying though, man. It's just he's Daniel, trying, Daniel, isn't it? It's just Daniel. He's trying Daniel. to build a bridge with the fans, he's trying to communicate, he's being open, he's using his first name. He wants he wants to be friends. You know him on a first name basis. No, because you want to be friends, friends with him. Super he's been trying, man. He's been trying. He brought them a new stadium. He brought them successful manager after successful manager. Got them a new go-kart and track. Foam fingers, hot dogs, all that good stuff. And still they hate the guy. What more does he have to do, man? He's, he's got doing Beyonce there this Daniel, summer. Man. He's got Beyonce Daniel. and his kids. It's mad. Mm. Anthony Joshua fights. You've been blessed. <laughs> You've been blessed. Wow. I'm not going to lie. The stadium, the, the stadium is ridiculous. It's one of those... It's, it's one of the best stadium. stadiums. It's one of the best stadiums. Have you not heard what Emerson Royale's dad said? Oh, yeah, shit. I saw that. And that was... Oh, shit. More statements? Do you want me to find that one as well? Because that was... There's another statement. Oh, got it here. Another statement. Yeah, it was. Turkish, I'll let you do the honours on that one. That was one of the worst. have you heard this? I've heard it, yeah. He has. Oh, yeah, so he's Emerson he's Royale's dad said, we believe it's time for him to join a team that fights for titles. I fit I fit a giant like Real Madrid. <laughs> no, he didn't. This is no Mr. No Real Madrid. Mr. No Look Pass. Oh. It's mad. It's all mad. As Saeed would say, it's mad in the dunya. It is mad in the dunya. Man. The whole the whole situation is crazy. I just find it baffling, man. The guy appoints Conte, then it doesn't work out. Keeps Stellini, who was part of the mess, um, and then now he's sacked him, and now he's put Ryan Mason in charge, who is still with the two managers here. Like, I just find it, the whole club baffling. Everything that they're doing is baffling. Um, and it's a shit show, man. You know what I mean? And like I said to you, I see the expressions losing his head. That yesterday, that capitulation was 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 different level, man. Different level. Like, generally, that it went, I've watched 7-0. And, and I thought that was bad. But that 5 and 20 minutes, it was crazy, man. Pedro Porro, listen. <laughs> how much did you lot buy him for? How much did you, how much is he? Uh, told me 40 million, Four, like that. 45 million, yeah. Yeah, listen, listen. <laughs> Someone find out it's mate. 
Someone find that receipt and listen, they just got capitulated. Newcastle just tore them a new one and they showed mercy to them. They actually showed mercy to them because I felt they could have got more and more. But I just think that whole club's a mess. Daniel Levy, I know we're bantering him and whatnot, but how he's still owner is ridiculous, man. He keeps making bad decision after bad decision. But yeah, it just seems to be still yeah, I there. Think it's got, I think it's got to a stage now, joking aside and banter aside, there's been loads of jokes and banter about Spurs and rightly so and whatever, in it? Like, they are finished. Like, I've said that they're finished anyway a long time ago. Because I said it, I said, if, if, if Conte, if you're going to fuck up with Conte after that, it's pretty much not coming back. Obviously, you know, it depends what he comes back with. Now, he's made a statement nice and early. So some Spurs fans might think, all right, he's held, he's, he's held, he's put his hand up and said, all right. Do you think Tobes, as he said, kind of are, are fucked up? As he, do you think he's taken accountability? Or do you think no. he's... He hasn't, is he? He hasn't. He hasn't, he hasn't even it because he writes it on paper. He's taking yeah, he hasn't. All right, you're, oh, fucked. you're fucked even more. He's then. the one that got sacked, not him. I thought, I thought he's taken a bit of accountability and he might look to fix it Where? himself. Like, you know what I mean? But yeah, you're Where's messed. Where's the accountability? You're messed. He tired, he's he's tired. Tired. These men have an agenda. He's hiding. He's, 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 he's He keeps he keeps forcing <laughs> he keeps forcing flipping Ryan Mason on every know, every, every first team manager. Bro, I told you. I told you Perry Mason's your level, man. Just how's happy, he, happy how's Perry Mason, man. Like, That's your what? boy, man. Perry Mason every time. Every time. I don't even know who Perry Mason is, but and I know do I. But I found out why it's in my head. It's a Netflix series or something. I was thinking, why do I keep saying Perry Mason, man? It's Ryan Mason. But Perry Mason's a Netflix series currently about some defence attorney or something. Boy, does your owner need Perry Mason right now? <laughs> That's yeah, what I'm saying. And, and if, if it doesn't go well for Ryan Mason, it'll be Ledley King that will be next up. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're holding it, hell. We know this. But if you're, be, you know, when you're in trouble, league. when your team needs something to beat or someone to beat, come play Liverpool in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're sacrificing. You're already doing the sacrificial Sunday. Because we that's what we're that we, we're here to be we're that's here to be yeah, that's, that's us that's, Bruce, that's us Bruce, we make it, everyone's man. season the brightest stop. season the brightest day of their season this season stop we made it, Bournemouth we made Forest we made Leeds can we do Spurs make it the brightest day of their season by beating us at Anfield yes we can wow no. You need to pick a side. Not this you need to pick a side. Like a, a, five minutes ago, you were talking about how Liverpool are going to be back at the top. Next Correct. Season. Correct. And Correct. We are, and yeah. we're talking about how bad Spurs are. Now you're saying that. Correct. Liverpool the two things. Need... The two things can yeah, be true yeah. at the same time. Okay. Yes, they could be. But you're talking as Spurs need to go away to Anfield. We've only won twice in Anfield in like thirty odd years or something like that. Look, we're going to do no. the preview later, man. Allow it, anyway. We're not previewing. No, 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 I'm no, just saying. I'm just responding to Danny these long. Spurs have only won one game away from home in 2023, and that was the FA Cup match to to like to like press. No, sorry, two games: Fulham and Preston. What we say? Look, I, spare me, man. Please, the, I, I know you're trying to be nice. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. So then, what are you trying to do? He's, he's, he's a nice guy. guy. I just he's responded to this man, Danny Dislong, saying a super chat. We respect super chats. Yeah, thank you for the super chat and all that. So I'm respecting the super chat. We keep it moving. We're talking about Spurs. Forget Liverpool. You're right. <laughs> okay. Thank then. you for thank the super you. chat. Mad. Well, for me, I, I don't know what you lot thought about it in the first 20 minutes. I don't know what everybody's emotions were. What what was because uh, to try and tactically analyze this, I, I don't really feel it's even it's even possible. It was just. Mm -hmm. It was five goals in 20 minutes. Like, what do you even say to that? Who, who... I want to ask a question. Can I ask a question? When was the last time he played for, or your club, or those players played a four, played at, the four at the back? Mm. We've not started with a four at the back at any point in the season, but we've changed to a four at the back in a couple of matches. I think we changed to a four at the back for maybe like 15 minutes against Chelsea, changed to a four at the back against Newcastle, changed to a four at the back against Bournemouth, and probably... I think a couple other sides. I think even, um, yeah, maybe like two or three other sides, but it's not a formation that we play um, at all. And you decided but, to go to St. Oh, James Park? Stellini, man. Stellini. Would it have changed the outcome, though? Would it have changed the outcome, really? Well, to no. be fair, once he moved to a five, it was 1-1. No they would have lost. I think they would have lost, but they didn't. They wouldn't have got embarrassed. I don't think. Maybe. Yeah. No, but, but, yeah, but you can also. You can, but I can also say Newcastle had already put five past us. They they they, they didn't need to. They didn't need to, yeah, to, true, be, yeah. as, to be as yeah. electric as they were. Like I've seen Spurs go to Old Trafford and concede twenty eight attempts. Like Man United had like them. I think that's like Man United's like highest joint highest yeah. with Nottingham Forest this season. They had that against Spurs. 
at Old Trafford. Like this is a team that I, got hammered. I, I, I really hate hammered. you lot because you lot, you lot, so, that, that celebration, that facial expression from Jacob Murphy gave me nightmares all week. Oh, like, so <laughs> rude. Yeah, it's just like he's and he's such a he's such a not very good player. He's not well, a very look good player. Look at at all. And you lot made him. Yeah, Issa <laughs> couldn't believe it. He was like going do Lally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Issa was like, what's this, man? But that Jacob Ramsey, man, strutting around like Jacob prime, prime, prime Ronaldinho, man. You lot made him. Oh, my God. And that's facial you expression, man. Face, that's going to live in Toby's nightmare, man, forever, man. Yes, like, yes, like was confused as well at the, after the fifth goal. He was thinking, "What's going yeah, on?" Here? I, I would be confused as well if you're like, if you're winning five nil up in twenty minutes in a in a in a potential top four decider. Of course, you're going to be playoff. Shocked. Playoff, yeah, you're going to be shocked because it's like, yo, what's going on? Like, is this is this some sort of joke? Is it some is this match fixing? It doesn't make any sense. The goals were going in at such a rate that I was even confused. I was like, wait, is this like is something going on here? Is there something? Someone put a bet on or no. something? That pass from Willett was disgusting, by the way. Honestly, oh, split your defence open. I don't know how we got that power from that back lift. Well, that hit him. It was ridiculous pass. I was a familiar man. Was oh, a familiar do you know what? Man. Tobes, I swear Tobes used to give Joe Willett a yeah. bit of stick as well. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Yeah. Really. <laughs> really. He's been, he's been, I don't he's been a brilliant player. I don't rate him. And you can imagine how I'm feeling. I don't know. <laughs> by the way, extra extra big up to Joe Wilk Joe Willock. His family's from Wolfhamstow. So big up Joe mm, Willock, Wolfhamstow, yeah, East yeah. London. You know what I mean? Where else yeah, where I grew up. They're representing, yeah. Yeah, where I grew up. You know what I mean? Mm. Wolfhamstow. Oh, Joe what's Willock. going on, man? We haven't heard from you yet, my bro. I don't know what you want me to say. You lot are the ones that are that are making statements about how Spurs are muddied and finish and stuff. You ain't asked me anything. What do you want me to say? <laughs> How was the marathon? <laughs> yeah, it was good, my friend. He completed it. 26 miles. Big up. I want to, I want Shout him, man. Shout his name, man. I want you to congratulate Ed for yeah. clap, clap for him. Yeah. Yeah. Look at Ed. Big up Ed. 100%. Big up Ed. 26 miles. It's not easy. No, no, it's not no joke. Yeah. Clap for him, you know. Yeah. Um, Look at how you said it. The 3 p.m. Um, government alarm went off at half time during your match. Thoughts? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Make up sending one of those photos that everyone was sending about on Twitter. I don't know. Uh, that was quick, by the way. That one, bro. You gotta learn to laugh at your own pain, bro. This is what I've been doing all season, bro. I'm 11th, and look how happy I am. You gotta learn. Self deprecation. Yeah, you gotta laugh at it, man. You gotta joke about it because otherwise, no, I laughed at I laughed at Emerson Royale thinking he was good at, at Real Madrid. There's nothing funny about yesterday. So, <laughs> I don't really feel like that's funny. <laughs> what is where's the human getting hammered five five nil down in twenty one minutes? What's what's joked about that? If you don't, if you don't <laughs> laugh, you'll cry. Yeah. Well, I'm not crying, am I? So, where do we go from here? Like, well, sorry, where do you I'm, go from here? Yeah, I'm thinking about a managerial option. What, what's uh, the latest with a managerial? Yeah, what, what are you saying now? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, and, and to make matters worse for Tottenham, Poch to Chelsea is moving on. Yes. Moving along swiftly. Are we going to discuss? Is, I don't know. So should we tie that in? I think, we should, like, I, think, I think I didn't play this week. How is he going to get me in this show? That's like emba another embarrassing episode, really, yeah, right? It's like your ex sleeping with your best friend. It's mad. Let's be wrong. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. Like, this yeah. is their favorite ever manager in their history. The guy that they got to the Champions worship. League final with. Worship. Yeah, worship, like Champions League final. This is their man. This is their guy, and he's gonna be he's gonna be at Stamford Bridge up against them next season in the touchline. Mm. On the I see that video where he's looking like a like a proper captive, mm. yeah, and he's got a big beard and he's like on a Zoom call and he's saying, "My dream is to come back to Spurs and win one trophy." Mm. <laughs> yeah, because I never won one trophy. Like if if Kane oh, someone's if... trying to rob my car, one second. If if what? I don't know. It's my car alarm going off. Like someone's trying to rob my car. Is that what is that what Poch said? Yeah. <laughs> he wants to go back to Spurs one day and win a trophy. Is that what Grizz was saying? Um, I think he's always he's always wanted. To, he said that he's. I think he, he said something like he's got like unfinished business there, or something like that. So um, he's listen. He wanted to go. He wanted to come back and manage Spurs. I think like there's been like little things that we've like have been picked up by these Spurs aggregator accounts over the past couple of weeks since Conte lost his job and it, it seemed like he was making a beeline for the job. Um, like, 
yeah, man. Um, with with Poch, I've always he's it's gonna hurt. I'm not gonna lie, it will hurt him being at Chelsea. Um, there's no way to really sugarcoat it. Uh, I don't really feel like um, it's the end of the world if Spurs were to get a manager who isn't Poch. As long as you make the right decision in terms of the characteristics that the manager has, that's the most important thing. Whether it's Poch or whether it's it's another manager, but that being said, he should have been an option for Spurs, and we didn't go for him at all. Even with the even with the doubts I have on managers, you didn't want him back, no? You didn't want him back? Nah, it's not. I didn't want him back. I just it's. I came round to it, man, because I feel like with him, he actually got done dirty. But in the end of the day, I just I've just got to think about managers going back to their clubs second time round. Um, I don't really like it personally, but Tottenham didn't make a move for him. Spurs didn't make a move for him. He wanted to go to, to Tottenham. So now Chelsea have come in for him. I can't really begrudge a man for for um, for like, looking like he's going to take the Chelsea job. So, yeah, I don't really know what more I can say on that. It's, it's weird for me because I was one of like, the first people that I saw online anyway to like actually really give him his flowers. I remember defending him on here quite aggressively because I had to, because he was getting insane disrespect. And I didn't really expect him to actually get the job. I just thought, you know, his 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 kind of record needed defending and things just got out of control. I'm not going to lie. You know, one thing led to another. I rattled Abby about it. Now I rattled Tobes about it a little bit, defended him on here, made a couple of videos. And now he's in a job. So... My neck is on the line a little bit because my fan base is yeah, like, They're looking at me like, yo, you got what you wanted, bitch. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, this better go well, otherwise we're gonna we're gonna slaughter you. But you is know what you I, wanted, yeah. Did you want Pochettino Matisse? There's for me, there's not any better options out there. Like if you remove the yeah, Spurs, if you re, if you research if you remove the whole Spurs um True, right? like represent, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you for a second in it because you, you we're gonna talk about um you guys in the final with Manchester City. No, did, did the other two gonna... reject you? That way you left with Poch? No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Uh, Look, Nogsman, le- didn't Nogsman, left the, Nogsman left the process because he didn't like the whole Lord Sugar sit in front of me and explain your process and ideas and shit. He didn't want that. He just wanted to He just wanted to get the job immediately. He didn't feel like he needed to go through an interview, which is fair enough. Like, he didn't feel he needed to compete. Cool. And Enrique, we actually said, no, we're going to, we're going to, we're not going to go with Enrique. So Enrique wanted a job before we even had Lampard as an interim. So, um, yeah, it's not, it's not like when Jude Bellingham went to Carrington and and decided to go to Dortmund. It's not like that. It's, it's different. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> you good over there? Well, yeah. You, you, just just you got rejected by a, a, a kid that doing his GCSEs in, in Listen, man, yeah? They didn't want to come yeah? to that shambles of a football club, mate. Yeah. And Pochettino will suck it up like he did with Daniel Levy, and he'll fail over there, mate. Like well, we're a shambles of a football Bowley. club. Not, not Nobody you. wants to work with that bad okay. man, Todd Bowley. Nobody wow. wants to work with that Chelsea football. It's it's crazy. It's toxic, man. You know what he's gonna do next? They think you know what. My mental health is more better. I'd rather just relax here and wait for the next big job to come in. Come on, Pochettino's mm. a madman to go there. But wish him all the best. Because he's yeah, a nice guy. Uh, Todd Bowley, Todd Bowley or, or Daniel Levy? Oh, it's not even a, that's not even a comparison for me. I'm, of course not. Take, oh, look at, look yeah. at, Daniel Levy doesn't care. If there's one thing... Aye, aye, nah, nah. One thing that's not going to happen on this show is a good owner's name be dragged through the mud. <laughs> That's not going to happen on this show. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay, go on. M- 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 no, 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 but you lot, I know you lot say, no, Todd Bowley, clear, clear, clear. But the mess he's made in six he's months. Mess, Imagine yeah. he gets six years. Bro, he's <laughs> made a mess. This saying. is not going to carry on. It's not gonna That's happen. what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying, though? Like no, General bro. Levy, like, bro. all right, no problem. Bro. You know what I mean? He's, he's done what he's done. He's you know coming. I mean? it's, it's like a kid in a candy store, right? Bowley's blowing bro. shit up in six yeah, months. Yeah. Bro, bro, bro. But Chris, but Chris, you'd like bro. to think Bowley will, he's learning Learn. on the job. This. Learn. He's learning. Like, this is what we're being told anyway. At least we're being told this. He's learning on the job. I don't think he's bro, learning bro, shit, bro. but that's my opinion. My opinion is he ain't learning shit. That's my opinion. What you can guarantee with Cowboy Bowley is he'll keep throwing cash at it until it works. He'll keep throwing money until it works. That's what you can get out of Chelsea. But with, with Daniel Levy, he'll pinch his pennies a bit more and he'll book concerts. Ah, and talk to money, money, money will run out. Money runs out, man. Ask me in it. My money ran out. No, he seems to have a fair Money bit. runs out. It's a madness. Listen, for me, I would prefer somebody that cares that somebody doesn't give a shit. And it looks like <laughs> Daniel doesn't give a shit. When I'm seeing Daniel, when I'm seeing come on you Spurs Daniel, 
Like, come on, bro. You're just trolling. You're taking the piss. Really. <laughs> you're actually taking well, the your piss. Your guys say they wouldn't be real. Let's be real. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's taking the piss. <laughs> no, but no, Matisse, though. At least Daniel Levy's not going out into restaurants and saying, yeah, man, we're going to win 3 0, man. You know, I don't at least really, you know, know, it's, it's like, that, that was a very minuscule thing that happened in this disgusting season. <laughs> yeah, he needs yeah, to stop that shit as well, man. Get around making. Football, oh, he thought he's in the big six. Oh, he thought he's, he thought he's sending a prediction to Turkish. My, yeah. my, <laughs> my owner, my owner was three nil. Put that down. Three nil. My, my owner, my owner was doing a Saeed. He was on the front line. He was on the front line. He was yeah, fighting. yeah, yeah. I like that. He's not. A, he's not one of the glazers that are found in America with the paparazzi and, and don't ask the questions. Well, get you know what I'm talking about. United, you know? no, I'm just about saying the, because uh, it's like as much as you want to criticize. I'm not criticizing. To... I'm just giving value. You're you're you're, ask, you're, ask, you know, you're asking for an owner to come into your club that has money, that cares, and that is going to be more transparent. Everything that Todd Bowie's done. Now, all I'm saying is Todd Bowie's been very naive and he's been very yeah. much like PlayStation FIFA mode, and he's just gone crazy. He's going to have That's to calm cool. down. He's going to have to learn from his mistakes, but. It's something that everybody in in hindsight can criticize, but when it's happening in the beginning, everybody wants it. Nobody wants anybody to come into their club and be really mature and say, Oh, we're only gonna make two signings this summer and we're gonna yeah, do yeah. everything in a really slow process and be really sensible. No, but no he... football no football fan says that. So don't, you can't in hindsight be like, Oh, this guy is oh, how could he? This is exactly what everybody wanted. Let's be real. Everybody wanted new players. You got them. It's just it needs to be done properly, is what it is. Yeah. I just think though that like do you not do you not think though like stuff like that it's like it's like misguided ambition right it's like when Turkish pretends that Daniel Levy is ambitious because he hired um, Jose Mourinho and Conte um, and made made not as much of an effort to sort of build the the teams that they would they would inherit and then you say oh no that's enough because oh he brought in Conte and and Jose oh yeah that's that's enough. Todd Bowley has thrown money at it, and yeah, he does want to get hands on, but he doesn't have a clue what he's doing. He doesn't have a clue what he's doing, and, and despite all the money he spent, would you say Chelsea are better off or worse off? Comparison to last season, would you say you're better off or worse off? Um, I think yeah. it will depend on. Yeah, I mean, obvious. obviously, if you're talking about this season, obviously we're worse off, yeah, because we're eleven. There you go then. So yeah, like exactly. <laughs> so so with the, with Todd with Todd Bowley with Todd Bowley, yes. There's, there's scope for him to improve as an owner. But in all honesty, he's looking like a bad owner right now. Throw money with no idea what to do with it. He's looking like a bad owner. Mm. Can I can I say something? So is Daniel Levy. So there's different types of bad owners. Can I ask a serious There is, but yours, yours is doing it consistently over a long period, whereas at least I can say mine is... He's fucked yeah, up. He's and now, up. like, if he does this for the next three, four years, of course, now I'm going to get onto him yeah. big okay. time. But yeah. the first year, like, I, I'm not... I'm not one of these people that I'll be like, yes, I want us to be better, but I'm not, I can handle a season of, of, of being bantered. Like if this happens again, then it's a madness, but yeah. I, I'm, I've written the season off. We, we have to, we have to come back next season. Hopefully with Potch, we get top four. Um, that, that would be my expectation. That would be my aim. And then we, we go from there. If everything can I ask gets, a you know, you know, can I ask a question? Saeed, yeah, made a very, very good point. I don't even think he meant it. I don't think he knows he meant a good point, but I spotted right. it. <laughs> but, but 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 you know he said something about Todd Bowley and and um, the appointment and everything. He said he's hired another yes man. Or did I hear? Or did you? Yeah, yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I like that because the the people the, the coaches that have said no to you lot, apparently according to the rumors and whatnot, whatnot. Would you have wanted another yes man, Matisse? This sounds like a another guy who hasn't won much, you know. Okay, he's got a reputation of making teams better, like Potter had and whatever. But again, he was pretty much Levy's boy. PSG, he couldn't handle the big stars, right? Who, now he's... who can handle the big stars at PSG? Okay, okay, no problem. Why are you defending Potch? He's not your boy anymore, man. Relax, isn't he? I'm talking he's about Chelsea. He's still my boy. You said something. and you said He's you your boy now. He's up. going to your worst nightmare, your enemy it's of enemies. Right. He's your it's boy. not official yet, so... <laughs> he's your boy. It doesn't, change, it doesn't change what he's done for Spurs. I'm asking you a question. You said he couldn't handle... You said he couldn't handle the big stars at PSG, and I asked you a question. Who could? Zidane. Because Zidane has never managed it. Managed They've never managed, managed it. They've never managed it. You, you didn't ask that. You asked a question, who can? I'll give you an answer. That's, that's an assumption. Know. That's an assumption, but it's not happened yet. So yeah. assumption So assumption is who can, no one can either. That's an assumption it, as well. It, it, no, it's just, it's just so far on record, on, 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 on paper, nobody has. The, the yes man thing, 
I've already kind of debunked on my channel, but I'm going to debunk it's not it. Yes, man. I don't like the yes man thing. Make sure you go and check out Matisse because, on his channel to debunk it. But can you answer me? Because I, I will. Time. Because no time for that right now. Because so answer mine right in, now. In terms of the yes man thing, you have to be. You have everybody has to go in the in the same direction. If people are pulling apart like Conte and Tottenham, it doesn't work. It blows up. When Klopp wanted Mario Götzel and Julian Brandt, but he got Salah and Mane, was that him being a yes man? No. It was him understanding the infrastructure that he's working within and going along with it and trusting his recruitment staff. When Klopp is saying that we can't afford a Ferrari and we're going to have to, you know, maybe Rotten, not, maybe man, not, maybe not get... Liverpool, no, 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 no. Because, bring because, because, yeah, we always bring Liverpool into it. We don't, we don't bring Liverpool into it. So I'll when, keep going when, now, yeah? Okay, Klopp, let, me, let me make a note. One, one second. Let me just make a note. Is, I'll carry on. Klopp let me make a note. Saying, when, Klopp is, when Klopp is saying we don't have the money or the facilities for Jude Bellingham, which was done, and now you're gonna go after other players like I don't, I don't believe that. Don't how believe comes? That, but how how comes he's not a yes man? How comes that's not that's not yes man? I never said. I never said. I, I've, I've said he's a yes man. Wait, hold on, Matisse. So no, 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 no. But Klopp's been incredibly successful at Liverpool, so why should I have a problem with it at Chelsea? Yes man are winning, right? No, 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 no. I, I, I never said that. Why have you got listen? Matisse and Edu have worked together, collaborated. It is worked, Pep. Matisse, it wasn't a bait question. Yes, I wanted to, I wanted to, I wanted to have a discussion around it, and I wanted to get every brother's opinion because Chelsea need a. To me, it seems like they need a very strong manager, like Tuchel. Now I know Tuchel has had a disastrous start at Bayern Munich, but that's a different story for a different day. But he was not ready to work under this ownership and the way they were planning things according to the talks that they've had and he didn't agree with whatever, right? We've seen um, Graham Potter just be a lamb to the slaughter, basically. Is Pochettino another lamb to the slaughter? He's not a Potter. Because right. this Todd Bowley is Sergeant Slaughter. Now, people in the chat that old school know about Sergeant Slaughter. WWF, mm. was it Turkish? Is it WWF mm. them, them, them days? Sergeant Slaughter. I'm telling you, man, this guy is... Pochettino, I don't know. I like Pochettino. I think he's... I think he's done a very good job at Spurs. Anyone who can make Spurs that relevant has done an amazing job. He made Spurs relevant. I don't know if he's what Chelsea need going forward, but time will tell. It's just opinions, right? At the moment, you're right. We can't make assumptions. I'd, I'd argue Levy made Spurs relevant, but I don't want to get into this right now. Big Steve in the chat knows what Sergeant Slaughter is, man. You actually know. Great. Come on. Huh? You're a disgrace, man. <laughs> no, <I'm> not. <laughs> no, I feel like I just turned into a joke because I'm not no, joking. No, you, you genuinely, you for you to say that you're just undermining the work that managers are doing, and you're either you're either saying it because you believe it, and if you believe it, then I think you might be deluded, and if you don't believe it, I think you're just. <laughs> like, oh, which one is it? So I who made Spurs relevant? Deluded. I must be deluded. Pochettino made Spurs relevant, then not Levy. Yes, yes, Pochettino did. Okay, and Levy, and, surely you're and, completely and, and, discrediting and, Levy. And, if you don't and, like and, him. I, I, I even, I as even, crazy I, as you I, think Turkish is, he has a little bit of madness. Before you go on, before you go on, is, you go oh, on. come on, man. Before, before I know you're you hurting. There is truth. Before you go on, I'd hate that statement that oh, relevant stuff like Spurs <laughs> have not been this completely irrelevant team. Pochettino was the one that helped you. You was before Levy. I don't want to get into this. Sorry, it's bad. <laughs> no, say it, Turkish. Say it, Turkish. Man, don't do this. It upsets him, though. It upsets him. He can't see it. No, 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 bro. Listen. listen. No, he's a big man. He's a big man. Say what you want to say. I get it. In the 90s, Spurs were in the complete doldrums. I completely understand it. I know the circumstances in which, in which Daniel Levy and Enoch took over Tottenham, right? But what I'm saying to you is, as a club, Spurs were not, even as bad as we were doing, Spurs were not irrelevant in the 90s. Spurs were not irrelevant. We may have been a poor side, but we weren't irrelevant. Back then, we were still one of the most successful sides in the country. Yes or no? No. What do you mean, no? So, in okay. the so by the point <laughs> of the night, <90s, laughs> you're, you're telling me that the amount of trophies that Spurs have accumulated, we weren't one of the best sides in the country? Yeah. <laughs> really? So, in the last 30 years, where Chelsea and Man City have accumulated trophies that have pushed them into this list, you're telling me back in the 90s, in 1990, Spurs wouldn't have been considered one of the traditional big clubs. You're telling me that? Excuse me, in what? You're telling me that? In the 90s, Spurs in the were 90s. not. Above. I was in the 90s, bro. We was there. Allow it, man. Allow Are it, you man. crazy? In the 90s, Tottenham was definitely irrelevant. 
I'm not crazy, bro. I'm not crazy in what I'm saying. Yeah, you said that Pochettino made Spurs relevant. I'm I saying that. You, you said that. No, that's what you lot have said on this platform. Pochettino made Spurs relevant. That's what you said. I said Levy made Spurs. I relevant. Said Levy made Spurs. Oh, sorry, Levy. Levy made Spurs relevant. Whatever, whatever nonsense that is. Spurs were not really an irrelevant club. Pochettino, what he did is he cracked us permanently into the top four. Yeah, Harry Redknapp did that twice. He did that twice, but Poch was the was the one that was able to do that and keep us there and have us outperforming teams that we weren't spending as much as, outperforming the likes of Man City, outperforming the likes of Liverpool. All I'm saying to you is when you say, oh, Levy made Spurs relevant, you basically make it out like Spurs were nothing before Daniel Levy came. That's nonsense. That's yeah, what I'm doing. And when I, when, when I made my point about the 90s, I didn't say Spurs were outperforming teams in the 90s. I'm saying... I'm saying by the 90s, when you look at the amount of trophies that Spurs won, right? How many trophies did you win? I don't get it. What are you saying here? Hey, Turkish, Turkish. Spurs, listen to, listen to what I'm saying. I think Spurs are like the sixth or highest. Um, Spurs, Spurs are sixth or, sixth or seventh highest in terms of amount of trophies won in England, right? We've only won... Two trophies. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. We've only won two. We've only won two trophies in that. Norwich last, like, Hospital Cup, man. That doesn't count. The last, like, 29, 29 or thirty years, right? You can. Research I think. It. I think. From my from my memory, right? And obviously, I'm, you know, Mister Senior here, yeah, yeah. In terms of age, right? From my memory, the last time the Spurs were relevant was, you know, when um, the famous five days, like the five attackers that you lot play, like them days, everyone you bought Klinsman, Popescu. Dimitrescu, all these guys. You know what I mean? I think that was the last time. No, no, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. So who was the chairman then or whatever? Manager? Was it Ozzy Ardiles? Ozzy Ardiles was the one that did the the, the, the all-out attack thing, man. Yeah. So that's the time that you guys, uh, last time you guys were relevant to me anyway. Or like, you know, exciting football. At least you lot played the, probably the best football the, the, the league scene in that era. Uh, but you still didn't uh, win, I think. Our uh, Everton Chris, the relevant. Is this. What? Our uh, Everton relevant. And Leeds. Mm, no, not right now, no. But they got they, they they're similar to you though. How? Because even Everton, when I look at the list Everton, of honor, Everton, they're, they're no, no, two no, places saying, behind you. In the eighties, Everton were relevant. Yeah. They were relevant. I'm not um, saying they were relevant. It, but in the we're talking about uh right, we're, we're talking about 90s and no, your and your need, trophy cabinet, right? We need, listen, we don't even need to do this, right? We don't need to do this. We don't what are we do doing? This, right? History think, tunnel. We're having history you today. Think, history tunnel. If you think, yeah, we're having history tunnel. tunnel. <laughs> really, really. That's fine. I just don't like you pretending like Spurs will be nothing without Daniel Levy. When you say Spurs, when you say Levy made Spurs relevant, that makes me angry. Martin <laughs> Lowe. Martin Yo is the reason why Spurs, why Spurs became, why Spurs got better in your estimations. Harry Redknapp is the reason why Spurs got better in your estimations. Pochettino is why Spurs got much better in your estimations. Not Daniel Levy. Who, who Daniel Levy is the reason why you charge? see that tiny stadium. Who put them in charge? Okay, who did he hire? Who did he hire before Martin Yo? Quiz time. <laughs> before Martin Yo. Jack Santini, how was he? How was he? He's he struggled, isn't it? But he's at a struggling club. Oh, he struggled. He struggled. Okay. One day Ramos, who you lot tell us he's our most successful ever manager because he won trophy in 15 years. Where did he finish in his season when he got hired? Where did he finish? In... Where did Spurs finish? I'll Where tell you, 11th. 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 The next season, what were we doing? We were in the bottom half of the table, like in the in basically in the drop zone. This great, this great chairman that makes the best decisions. But you can understand why yeah. he put them in, 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 in the place, right? Why? No, I couldn't. Not Jack Santini. Ah, maybe not him, but, but Ramos you can. Yeah, and what happened? And then he got rid of him. Simple. He got rid of him. No, 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 no. He sacked Martin Yo, bro. He sacked Martin Yo. Yeah, but his time was up. Yo. His time was up. Yeah. You could you can say that confidently after like maybe two and a half months of the season played, the same way Pochettino's time was up. Yeah, how's that no. work for Spurs? Pochettino's a different. I mean, how's that work for Spurs? He just took the Champions League final. How's that work for Spurs? The same way his time was up. How's that work for Spurs? Bro, 
A year after Pochettino got sacked, you had your shirt swinging over your head singing Antonio. Yeah, because I rate Conte. But yeah, exactly. Your, your, your owner brought in a manager before? that you rate. Who did he hire before Conte? Nah, bro. How, How many it? days did he spend to hire Nuno? Oh, Nuno. Okay, we're talking about Nuno. Okay. How many days did he spend to hire Nuno? 72 days. He wanted to and do his research. Like, <laughs> no, stop this, bro. He wanted to do his research. Please. What do you mean I'm doing research? He wanted to I'm... do his research. He wanted to do his research. Okay, yeah, you're trolling, man. I, I'm I'm done. <laughs> you're broken. Oh, now, broken. now you want a manager that's a project manager, right? We to move on. That's what bro, Nuno was meant to be. He had a project manager. I didn't want Pochettino sacked. He sacked Poch. He sacked Poch. He sacked Pochettino and brought a washed up Jose. And you want me to praise him and say he's the one that made Spurs relevant? It's disgraceful. Come on, man. It's great. This is why I don't want to get into it because you can't see clearly, man. Yeah, I'm sure I can't. I'm sure I can't. I can see clearly now. <laughs> <laughs> sure I can't. Well, at least, people, you've, you've tuned into the Tottenham history lesson and hopefully it was beneficial to everyone. I've learned something in that. Well, so, Matisse, you know Matisse what, learned who Jack Santini is. Lord Jesus. Yeah, Santini right. thought... Listen, man. It's always good to learn the history people, man. Stellini so. appointment, it seems. Matini yeah. thought he's a wine. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh. All right, listen, let's pick up. <laughs> the energy's not there. Tobes, Man United next. Isn't that right? Thursday. Man United yeah. Thursday. Yes. <laughs> what's what's going to happen? We're going to lose. What do you mean what's going to happen? <laughs> <laughs> we need to talk about, Are you fighting, man? We need to stop talking about Tottenham, honestly. What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> man, ask me, man, look at the question you asked me. What What do you think is going to happen? What 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 do you think is going to happen? Oh, God. Okay, what should happen? What, what What do you think you can do right now without a transfer window, with Ryan Mason in charge? What do you think Beat is them. the right thing to do this Thursday for Tottenham? Beat them. Beat them. They've got They've got They've got a terrible record away to um, top half sides. That's the right thing we could do, but we're not going to do that. So, yeah. Where is it? Have some chest, man. Have some chest, Toes. Not so long ago, you're a four You want him to yeah. have chest? Come on, man. You can't have no chest. Yeah, We're always talking about who's on the front line here. Get front line. Now, Toby's not in it. We know he's not. We know he's not. Toby's not on the front line. Toby don't even watch the games no more. He don't go to the game. I tried, people. I tried. Front line. Front line. Yeah, Huey, now you're trolling. Tell him to have chest, man. Get out of here. You're taking it. You can't sit there and say, we're just going to get slapped up. You can't say that, man. If he doesn't say it, I'm going to say it. In my prediction. It's ridiculous. You want me to lie and deny what my eyes are seeing? Be delusional. Yeah, I respect that. That's what you want me to do. You want me to come here with chest and say, oh, yeah, Spurs have only beaten Fulham and Preston away from home. Spurs have only won one in their last four. Spurs are playing bad. Spurs have Ryan Mason. What experience does he have, have as a manager? But we're going to beat Man United. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. Is that what you well, want Man to United, say? No, no Varane, no Martinez. Oh, come on. Let Harry Kane up. Prediction, man. Please. Please. Oh, what? Are, are we just talking about a completely Please, finished man. team here? I want to get on to Arsenal, Arsenal, just completely finished. Come we go back to the very, God, very God, beginning God, of this God, conversation. I can't know what's completely finished. But Hugh, nothing there. you're a Man City fan. You know the opposite of what it feels like to have momentum. You have positive momentum, right? You're going into games thinking you can beat anyone. Is that right? Yes or no? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. So what do you think the reverse is when you're not winning games and you're losing games? How can you then he have... Know what that's like. He doesn't remember. Then have the belief that you're going to go and win a game? That doesn't, doesn't make know. sense. He doesn't know what that's like. He hasn't lost a game in God knows how long. He doesn't understand. That doesn't make sense. Speaking to you a different... Like, to be, I, don't understand different I don't understand what you want from me. Bro, yes. you're speaking yes. Spanish to a German, bro. He doesn't understand losing, bro. You're Smash. talking to the wrong guy. Smash. He doesn't get yeah, it. You bro. can't have chess. Yeah. No, but I know... I, I, I think Huey means... Think of a solution or fight for a solution. You guys are waffling like nothing. We're talking about pride after we just, <laughs> you just you with Ryan Mason. For conceding five in 21 minutes, you're talking about pride. Yeah, but they, they can't, they, that, that can't just be the end of the season now. We got slapped up by Newcastle. Yes, down is it will be. Done. Done. If we beat them, it will be. It's done. Top four been how, how, how far are you behind top four now? Is, is there any left to play? No, they're still in it. They're still in the top four they're race. Still in it, man. Don't beat Man United. It's game on. This, this game, if they beat us, then it might be game one. This is why I don't want to ride on this one. You lot are well, them. You're not, you're, not 
You're I not protecting up, your friend's up. mental. You're not protecting your friend's mental. Up, I'm I just trying up. to see Toby out from New York, bro. It's like... Forget it. Forget it, bro. It's fine. It's fine. We, need Toby office, lit. we need Toby lit for New York. No, no, no. We're gonna, so he's going to be fixed. We're going to fix him in New York. Uh, you man, not bad. No, I'm going to be I'm gonna be great in New York because at least I'm not going to have to think no about football. Spurs you man, bad man. You man, bad I just want you. I just want you to back up his chat and back Spurs to win. On, yeah, on I actually, in all your predictions, oh, you yeah, better be yeah, 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 yeah. He's got you there. He's got you there. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Why yeah, are you talking about Spurs fan here? Nah, make, you... Sure you, make sure you all go over yeah. to your predictions, please. So I can catch oh, up. Yeah, I want you, yeah, exactly. That's when you know my face. Here you got you there. He got you there. Where did you predict Tottenham to finish, Tobbs, beginning of the season? Third. And where oh, what was this you know, when, when you stack <laughs> one um, Fourth. That's crazy to me, man. What is crazy? You predicted third at the start of the season and you sacked your manager when he was fourth. Don't do it, Turkish man. Come on. I'm not gonna do this with you, bro. <laughs> you've heard me, you've heard you've literally heard me berate this team for four months. You heard me tell you the top four race was basically done in January, and you're doing this to me in April. <laughs> Please, man. Oh, you're a lot of bad. Please, man. No, 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 no. You man are bad. You man are bad. He, he knows you what he's doing. The thing, is, the, thing is, the thing is, I'm so glad he's enjoying this. Smile, cherish, just enjoy the jokes. Just enjoy the jokes. Because no, I promise you, you I, I don't think he's joking. I promise you, no, if you're scanning, I don't think he is. Shit don't go your way on Wednesday. That grin's not going to be on your face, brother. It's cool. I'm going to be tuning into your watch along on Wednesday. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, the most exciting oh, find all season. That's all right, man. It's fine. all right. That's fine. It's all Just right. better make sure that you don't end up winning the same things that as, as shit Spurs this season. That's mm. all I've got, that's what I've got to say. No, we'll, we'll, talk about what we'll talk about what happens. That's what it is. Oh, it's, not that mad. it's not that mad. The trajectory is very different, Saeed. So you, you know what Because remember how this would be the same how, season, no? Be the same season. The conversation, it wouldn't be the same season. It would, would end with the same amount of trophies. None. It wouldn't be the same season. Now, remember how this conversation started. Grizz asked Tobes, where do you go from here? 45 minutes there, we have no answer. <laughs> I just asked a question, man. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know where we go from here. I don't know who we're going to hire as the manager. I don't know, bro. Harry who, who, would like at this point? who would, who would you, you like at this point? Who would you like at this point? I don't know where we go from here. No, but ask, so, answer you his question. Who would you like at this stage now? You don't know. Is there anybody? <laughs> yeah, man. I've already said. I've said. Thomas times. Frank, I said I said um, De Zerbi, Nagelsmann, like Pochettino, Amarin. Like these are the type of managers that I, I would like at Spurs. What's the word on the street? Mm, I mean, I could do a bit of digging for you, but. <laughs> Word of the street is um, Enrique was contacted last mm. week, and apparently Matt Law, I can't remember, Matt Law and someone else is basically saying that Nagelsmann has set, I don't know, some has set some assurances that he wants before he takes the Spurs job or something like that, or Daniel Levy is going to tempt Nagelsmann. Some nonsense, man. I don't know, man. Honestly. Yeah, it looks know. like Nagelsmann, man. A lot of noise about Nagelsmann oh. or Enrique, basically, I think, coming down to at least Nagelsmann will play some good football for you. It'll be yeah, better on yeah. the guys than what you've had. It's for Zerby. It's Zerby. Listen, Zerby, Zerby, yeah, I'll leave. I, I, you're I not going to win trophies. At least play good football, man. Give the fans something to get off their seats a bit. But can I say, if Nagelsmann comes to Spurs, that's bare egg on my face. Like, Toby's going to come swinging for me 100%. So, I hope <coughs> that don't sorry. happen. I hope that don't happen. Because I didn't really anticipate one of the emerging top coaches to go to Tottenham Hotspur. So, that would be some coup if they get Nagelsmann. Big, big uh, up. Big up, big up, General Levy. Yeah, uh, we're, 48 minutes, we're 48 minutes in. Tottenham got United on Thursday. So before we make predictions, we might as well move on to United. Yeah, uh, man. Uh, and final. Yeah. Another final, man. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Tough, tough uh, game. Brighton, listen. I can't lie to you. It wasn't, it wasn't, um, it wasn't an easy game, man. Brighton plays some good football, man. Kai Sado, man. I, I watched the top, top players today, man. Like live. You know, when you watch him live... This guy is different level, man. He's press resistant, technically so elegant on the ball. Um, you know what I mean? He's, he's just a, a very, very good midfielder. And I'm, I'm sold on him properly now. You know, when you see him live and you see him properly, I think um, he was unbelievable. They played good football, man. They, they made it difficult for us. We, to be fair, had the better chances in the game, but we weren't clinical enough. And I think the game just kind of petered out, man. I think both teams... Weren't really clinical enough. Um, both teams, obviously, Martial went off early on. They didn't really have a striker up front. 
Um, and it just kind of obviously went down to penalties. And the penalties were just... They said, I know Matisse and Griswold know from last year, but the penalties are just... It's just so jarring, man. Because obviously everyone kept scoring. David Hayes, as you all know, can't say penalties. So it was just kind of one of them where it was just kind of like just waiting and waiting and waiting. And then luckily, their course, so listen, he had one good thing to do in the game and he put the kiss of death on the ball. Listen, everyone can believe what they want to believe, but obviously then Sonny Marsh kind of misses it and then we obviously go through. So I'm happy, man. You know what I mean? I was there, the journey, you know, if you lose that game, it's a long journey back home. So it was worth the trip. And obviously now it's a match of derby in it for the final. So... I can't complain. When you look at the season so far, I know we went out of the Europa League and, you know, that was a disappointment. Don't get me wrong. And I know the chat are kind of talking about it, but, you know, to be in for, to win two trophies this season get, and, and get in the top four, for me, that's a that's a, that's a a great first season for Ten Hag. So hopefully we can stop this um, this so-called, you know, um, treble that Man City are going to be doing. Obviously, hopefully Arsenal are in there on Wednesday and they give us something to, to fight for. But ultimately, we've got to do our job and stop Man City at the FA Cup. I'm not going to lie, it's going to be a tough game and they're probably going to be favourites. But I think in a derby, though, anything's up for grabs. Like, form goes out the window. It's just a 50-50 game, neutral, stadium. The fans will be up for it. I think on that day, Ten Hag is, 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 can tactically outdo Pep Guardiola. So I'm, I'm not going to lie to you, man. I'm, I'm looking forward to it, man. I really, really am looking forward to the derby, man. It's going to be carnage, though. On the M1 going there. I don't know how they're going to sort that out, but it's going to be carnage. Mm. Big Steven, that, you know what I mean? Do you Probably give yourself from, uh, any... How much, from, uh, how much trust Wundi, do you give yourself? Listen, all in all, I'm, I'm happy. And like I said, it was a tough, tough game yesterday. But sometimes you don't worry about the performance, man. It's all about the result, man. You know what I mean? Nobody, think, nobody remembers semi-finals. You know what I mean? You just got to get through there and get to the final. So, for me, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, man. But, yeah, other than that, can't complain. Can't complain. Mm. Do you give yourself much chance though? Like realistically, seriously. Well, you're watching the way City are playing and we're seeing you know how, you guys, how you guys played against Sevilla. It's, against final, yeah, it's a you... final. It's yeah. a final. I think, you know what is it? In a final. Really bad, since last time we played you. Only got an offside goal. We're looking at a different game in Old Trafford and we're a completely different team. The only thing for I me is you. that we'll, we'll be off the back of a, a heavy title running uh, and please God, we'll potentially have a Champions League final seven days later. So it's going to be a particularly tricky month and a half that for us you know uh, you know what it is though I get, I get it 100% listen Man City are a better team we'll have a few players out and I think notable players out in Sandro um, but listen man it's a, it's a derby it's a final like form goals out the window but also I feel like the occasion can bring you know what I mean a little bit of something for the players I think they'll feed off that and I think ultimately you know what I mean I, I wouldn't say like you know, in terms of our players that on their day, our transition and counter attacking, I don't know. I think we could we could do something. We'll let City have the ball. That'll be the game plan. Let's see have the ball. And on the counter, May United have been devastated through Rashford, through Anthony. I think that will be the game plan for me. And that will where I'm kinda of looking at the game thinking, I think that's where we could get the confidence from. But ultimately, Man City, we know what they are. They're gonna have the ball. They're gonna be they've got the more devastating players, Haaland, etc. But if we can somehow find a, a way on that day to beat him, and like I said, could go to penalties, and then it's 50-50 on that time. So you don't know, man. You don't know on that day. So it is what it is. I'm just looking forward to it, man. It's, it's a final it's a opportunity to stop the treble as well. So that is that is the biggest incentive you should need. Them players should know that they're making history, a treble and a free peak. There's no more. There's no. You don't need more motivation than that. Stop Man City for winning treble. You are Wait, proper shit. Know, if if, if, they, right if they win it though, yeah. like they've won it on Sorry. your on your on your watch. Exactly. That's what makes it even worse. So go out there and perform. That's all you gotta do. Go out there, stop the trouble, and and, and 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 obviously make history for yourselves more so as well. But go out there and stop Man City in the final. What motivation have you got? Play out there no. in the final to local like derby. Like I don't know what motivation you need. You know what though? when you go to sleep at night, do you think about a man city treble? When I'm about, yeah, when I'm about, and you know what I mean? I get reminded of it, yeah. I've not seen you look this nervous, say, man. You're all jittery and shaky. You're looking really, really <laughs> nervous. <laughs> <laughs> you're moving now, you know, there, you're like, looking around the room, there, you're not sure where to look. It's getting closer. It's getting closer. That's all I'm saying. Like, I can see Man City purring at the minute, and it's not looking good. That's There's why I'm... Turkish, I'm, man. I'll tell you I'm the same. The on the shark is circling and there's blood in the water. We'll keep on that line. The shark is circling and there's blood in the water. We'll keep running that it line. It goes the same for you as it does for Turkish. I can see them sharks, man. They're always in the chat. They're on Steve's Instagram. They're on every single person's Instagram. But listen, 
Hopefully Arsenal do their thing on Wednesday. Hopefully Hall of Madrid. And then we we do our job come June the 3rd. That's, oh, that's where want, we're all together. You want, Arsenal, you, want, you want Arsenal to win? Yeah, yeah are you crazy? Oh, wow. I want oh, Man City man. to win the league. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah, but now the final was tantalising. Look. Fa- like, the final's going to be unbelievable. Brighton be would have been... Point. Brighton, I think Brighton would have just... Brighton, like, you know... How amazing they are and the football they play and everything else. I'm not sure that a big occasion of Man City would have just overruled them. I think you never know with Brighton because they they they're, they're a ridiculous football team. Like could they, have been like the Newcastle in the Carabao Cup final situation. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. They, I think they outplayed you lot anyway. They did. You know, I'm not gonna lie. Know, it was. They we did have our chances, on Chris. We did have our chances, but, but they didn't have the because look, teams like Brighton. I haven't got a massive squad. They can't replace players. Yeah, no, no, no. And when, once they lost that Ferguson brother, yeah, they, they they had a plumber up front. Undev or something. I don't know what his name. Yeah, is. he's awful. He's yeah. awful. Yeah. So when yeah, you're going yeah. from Ferguson to a plumber, it ain't happening for them. They so, did have well, but he gave well up. Back. I done it well back until yeah, he yeah, well, he's, well. he's he's the plumber that I was talking about. But but Man United have got the players. I've got the manager, the tactico, the man that revolutionised Man United, revitalised Man United, and Man City have had a few mixed results against them. Well, you we know, slapped them up six three, and then they got a fraudulent goal against us to beat us North Trafford. So that's one one, right? This season, it's one one. That's what I'm saying. So that's what mixed results. I never said performances. You, I said mixed results, and they've beaten you a couple of times at Old Traf- uh, at your ground as well. Under, yeah. but but, but no, you, no, you I, know. I, I, you know, I'm you know, Ten Hag. He's not going to. He's not going to be a tactico on June third. He's going to sit back and try and hit us in the counter. It's not, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to Listen, work out what Ten Hag is going to do. Pragmatic. It's counter. It's, ta- it's, ta- it's It's still tactics. It's it's when to when to press, when not to press. You know, what I mean, he could he could pat the midfield out. You don't know what he's going to do. Like I said on that day, Pep Guardiola could do what sometimes he does, and he's overthinking. And and like I said, Ten nah, Hag. Will I, be I, think, there. I think Pep is out of his game, ready. man. I, th- I think Pep stamped that out of his game. We've seen now in those Bayern Munich games, he's he's become a lot more clever and he's used his experiences finished, yeah. in Champions League in recent years, man. He, he's learning when to when to attack and when to sit back. He, he's built a, a wealth of knowledge, man. I think he stamped it out of his game. No, but that, that's not the question, though. How's he stamped out of his game when you've been in finals and he's done it in a final? So I don't understand that, mate. About stamping because the final was two years ago. Shot. And you can stamp it out of your game in two years. No, no but the, I'm talking the about thing this is, season, mate. Not two years ago. No, but I feel like it's, you're going on about it's finished, though. Like, it's fully, fully finished. Again, you might not still not win the league. Like, it can still be that Guardiola, he's a perfectionist. And I feel like sometimes that gets to his to his brain. And sometimes he can, he can decisions can be a bit all over the place. Like I said, I'm not discrediting Guardiola. I'm just saying on a given day, you know, Guardiola can overthink it. So it can still happen. I don't think it's just gone away and it's, you know, it's bad. I think it's still in his oh, game. Because, um... he's a perfectionist. And because he loves to kind of get it right, sometimes he can overthink it. It could be a blessing. Sometimes it can't be. Man City not, not are clear favourites. Favorite. Let's, 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 let's get let's get straight. Back. Yeah, let's get straight. Man City are clear favourites. Let's get it straight. Yeah, yeah. Football they're playing, they're yeah. looking the perfect team right now in Europe. The perfect team from top to bottom, like from the back to the front. But finals are mad. Like things can yeah. happen. Football teams can have a bad day, and if Man City have a bad day and Man United have a good day, that's the only way Man United will win the cup, in my opinion. Well, I think that's a bit that's a bit harsh. You get me? United can have their their weapons, and we could be outstanding. How's that harsh? They, if they have a good day no, and I, you I, have I a good day, they win. win. Yeah, but if, if we if we say say if we play our best and you play our best, we'll we'll, we'll slap you up. It's simple as we're a much better team. <laughs> but I thought, I'm I'm not sitting here saying for one second. <laughs> hey, yo, it must be no, peak will. hearing that. Oh my god! No, but I don't. If we if we play if we play a hundred percent full throttle. I'm not we here to drop. Full throttle, we'll slap you up. It's simple as. No, that, that's you, need get, like, you need to get rid of slap of your seat, bro, because it's mad. Well, so what's I, your I, idea I, of slap? I, what's your idea of slap then? 3 nil, 4 nil. I'm not saying so, that's what's going to happen. Nil? I'm just backing up to this point that if we play at our best, we will slap you up. You okay. need to have a proper day. We need to have a slightly okay. off day. Bro, bro, this is like a year 11 telling a year 7, yo, listen, I'll slap no, you no, up. I'm just saying, isn't it? Like, he's, he's saying that, but that's how <laughs> football works, isn't it? That could be forever. No, I, if you let me finish, that's what I was day, doing. I think that's a big no, screen. I, I think that's a big screen job, you know? Like, Hugh, if you say that... No, he's, I, I wasn't like... Yeah, I think that's no, a you know, single screen job. I wanted to have that chest though. I'm not... Listen, he's, he's, he's a Man City fan. He can have the chest all he wants. But I'm just saying, like... Don't discredit Ten Hag as well, because at the end of the day, he will be there. And I'm you not, know what? He I'm, is a tactician. He can't season, do it this season. Uh... He's done it many a times this season. Oh, I've praised oh. him this season. All I'm saying is that I think if we played our best, 
we'll slap you up. But I'm also <laughs> conceding the fact that on an on an FA Cup final, a neutral event, 50, 50 fans, anything can happen. Form goes out the yeah. window, as they say. And, but and if you know we're at our best, we'll slap you up. No, this yeah, is that's why it's going to be a good final, man. I what's think it's one of the best finals we'll see in a long while. What's, what's your what's your what's your weapon, Said? I think Rashford. Rashford. I think Martial has caused Man City a few problems over the years. I think Anthony on the right hand side. I think he's a, a big game player. Bruno Fernandez is still in there. You know, so we, we've got Casemiro in there. Listen, on that day, we, we've got weapons, and and I think if, we, if we're ready to use them, we have the right tactics and, it, and we can create a balance out of it. I think there's there's, there's situations to get at Man City. It, it's not going to be all one sided. Yes, they are the better team, hundred percent. I'm not dis, disagree with that, but don't count on my United. That's what I'm saying. But can I, because you wasn't here last week <clears throat> after the yeah, Sevilla yeah. game, can I get a, a confirmation on De Gea? What What is your final conclusion? <laughs> well, you, you, you told me, no, no, you said there was you an enough. No. But in the title of your video, you said might. And I don't like the word might. I like absolutes, yeah? Yeah, and yeah. Start with James Redmond. So I, I want to know what your fight, because you keep playing around with De Gea. You're playing this game. And I'm not I playing around. Know, you're, you're tiptoeing not... around it. I want to know what your actual opinion is on De Gea right now. You're, that might. Why are you putting a might in the title? Crazy. Crazy. No, but if you, if you actually you know, watch the video, you'd know. Like you know, you need to watch the video. <laughs> I heard a big, I heard a big, big sob story at the start and everything that's happened in the past and everything he's done for you. I watched, yeah, but I just <laughs> on the big six, I just want to hear it loud and clear. You know, just nice confirmation. No, I, think, I don't I want think to flip flopping with the hair thing. You know, no, I think it's time to to to, to find a new keeper. I think it's mm. yeah, it's time to find a new keeper. Mm. You might, so get, a new contract, you might get a new contract. Sorry, if he gets a new well, contract, think... that's that's up to the club. But do I, you I want him to get a new contract because you sorry, tweet, I, do you want him to get a new contract? Because you, t- well, you I want, want him to get a new contract, contract, yes, because I feel like we need a backup anyway. So what? yes, I would. Why? want what? You want three hundred and seventy-five? No, because it'll be a, no, but it won't be on a three hundred. It'll be on a lower wages. How much? How much are you going to be on for it to be a viable? I reckon he'd probably be on. I'd say two hundred grand. You're gonna pay a backup goalkeeper 200k. Why would yeah, you take, come on, man? It's, it's, it's the norm that? now, man. It's the oh, norm, yeah. no, it's the norm now. No, Listen, I'm, not, I'm not here to talk about uh, contract situations. I'm not about my, no, that, doesn't make, that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make you sense. You have an opportunity, no, no, to I feel even as a backup, though. The, nah. the club are gonna keep him on. It's evident. You have an opportunity to get rid of him, though. I don't You think the hair wants to be a backup. Why well, you wouldn't? Yeah, but that, that, but again, again, hold on a minute. Again, yeah, it's time for the for the two keepers. We want competitive. You have to have good. Positions for everyone. Like there needs to be multiple positions where you look at right. We're strong here. We're strong there. Like we're gonna have one keeper. And then if, to find a backup keeper nowadays is very very rare. We've got Heaton and, <laughs> and and who else? It's not good. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, I don't think David Hay would mind being a backup. I think you guys are kind of understanding that you know he would he wouldn't like it. I don't think he would mind it, and he would fight for his position. I generally think David Hay would fight for his position, and that's how it should be. End of the day, I'll if probably you, let, me, let me let me let me say this or David Ryan. That's if you were, if you were to replace De Gea. Properly, yeah. De Gea wouldn't be able to fight for his position because he wouldn't be getting an opportunity because the other. Yeah, but how do we know? Though? How do we know? How do you know the keeper would? The manager that means that you like haven't bought the right the... goalkeeper because De Gea. De Gea. De Gea. If you want to play Ten Hag ball next season, De Gea cannot be in goal. Period. It doesn't matter yeah. who's that's in why I said moving. I want a new keeper. Yeah, but so then get so then get rid of him then. How are you going to? Why would you want to keep him then? Why would you? No, because I want to keep him. It doesn't make any sense because when you bring De Gea in now. You can't no, you play the same football that, that you've played with the first choice goalkeeper. So therefore, your your whole system is going to have to change to cater to no, De Gea. The thing is, for me, I don't have that much ill about David De Gea to kind of say, you know what, I want him at a football club, but I do want a new keeper. My stress is about having a new number one. Whether David De Gea is that number one or whatever, I don't know. But at the end of the day, my kind of idea is that we get a new number one. About backup keeper, that's, that's that'll figure itself out. Ten Hag will figure it out. But me, right now, I do want a number one. And that is Mike Mania, David Raya, someone of that ilk. That's my kind of go-to right now. Is to get you still got Henderson. Sorry? No, but Henderson is kind of... He's burnt bridges, man. I don't know if you've seen this interview, but he's burnt a lot of bridges, man. I don't think, for me, he, he would come back to the football club. He's burnt a lot of bridges. I don't know if you've seen this interview. His demeanor. I don't think he would come back to the football club. I think he's kind of like, you know what? I'm done with you lot. So... Yeah, man. For me, I don't think so. So, yeah. Yeah, uh, cool. He's be sold. Outright. Yeah. I think I think Saeed doesn't want to say. It you got a couple of keepers that you can give him. You got. A couple he, loves, of he loves him too much. He loves him too much. I mean, I talk about love him too much. I, I've just given you my answer. You know what I mean? I, I, I think we should I mean, get. I honestly, people. I get. I, Saeed, I, thought... I honestly, I honestly get it because I, I love Hugo Lloris. I think he's been. I, you know my love for Hugo Lloris, but. 
You just Why are you smiling when you say that? I'm trying to relate. Wow. I'm trying to talk to him, <laughs> to talk to him <laughs> level. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, I hear you. I hear you. But Lloris is someone who's made mistakes throughout his career at Spurs. And the good has always outweighed the bad. But now the bad just outweighed. There is no good. And it's just all bad. And when it's all bad, you need to let these guys go. Like, I don't think it's all it. bad. He still makes mad saves, but nah, the bad, but the, but, but the bad is there's more bad happening. So no, before, no, no, there's, it's, no, no, it's, there's no good happening at the moment. Like, no, he so makes bad. he makes hell saves still. He's no, mad bro, 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 bro. I'm Grizz. I'm he's had some you. big games, man. He's had some very big games this season. Yeah, yeah. he's too so bad, it's but so he bad. makes a lot of mistakes now. So, so bad. And again, what again, I'm, what I'm making is this: like, if you know that something is fundamentally busted. Why would you want to keep it? I agree. Like, I agree. Liverpool have done the same thing and we're suffering from it. You know, the likes of the players we keep well, keeping, keeping, keeping. So like David, David De Gea, I get it. David De Gea has been like, has made some really good saves for Man United this season, but he's just too crazy, man. Hmm. In what sense? In distribution. Did you, not see, did you not see what he did against Sevilla? Yeah, yeah, yeah the distribution. Yeah, yeah. No, not the distribution. Oh, not just the distribution. He's lost his foot in and then he's actually oh. dived. Outside the box, mm. Mm. Yeah, it's not good. It's not good. Head loss. Head loss. What I'm saying is this: so his contract is up. When is his contract up? It's well, it's kind of up at the end of the season. That's why they're obviously having okay, contract. So, so that's what I'm saying. The contract is up at the end of the season. He's your highest earner. He's on 375 grand a week. Surely mm. it makes more sense to get him off your wages when he's clearly shown that he's not the goalkeeper that you need long term, and then you solve the backup situation. Another route. You don't have to keep the hair. That's the point I'm making. The, the, the main thing opinion. for me is, but like you've I got said, I can have, have guys. Yeah, you get what I think saying? I can have my opinion, but it's ultimately down to Ten Hag because he's talked good of him, and like I said, he would probably do that in, you know, I mean, to the media anyway. I don't think he would slander David De Gea, but we don't know yet. Ten Hag could could say, you know what, I, I want to keep him for next season. We don't know yet. Like we're linked with keepers. But they're going to come at a big cost. I don't know how much Mike Mania is. He's in a strong position at Milan. Everyone just thinks he's going to just jump ships. You know what I mean? David Raya, I don't know what's his situation right now. So we don't know it. We don't know if it's a priority for Ten Hag. We don't know yet. So we just have to wait until the summer. We generally do. But for me, like I said, it is time to find a new modern keeper who can, um, you know, in terms of distribution, is good, comfortable as the ball, can play at the back. We're going to have to need that, man, for the next new style of Ten Hag. Next season, it has to progress even more. So we'll see. Ah, uh, let's let, let's get in. Well, should we do super chats and then predictions? I think that's probably the best order to do it in, um, because we've got a fair few in. Considering we talked about two clubs, Neil says talk nicely. Uh, talk nicely on Anthony. He's been fantastic for the past couple of months, but won't get his flowers because of his price tag. Yeah, that's good. Past He's couple been of excellent. months or past couple of weeks? Huh? Past couple of months or past couple of weeks? Yeah, that's and, and what's of... wonderful. And fantastic, fantastic is a crazy <laughs> word to use as well. <laughs> oh my god, but what is it? What's fantastic? <laughs> what, what is it's fantastic? just giving his opinion, isn't it? Like, if that's what he said, that's what he said, isn't it? Yeah, but it's <laughs> we're, we're questioning the opinion. Has he been fantastic, Said? Like, are we maybe missing something? I don't know, maybe, maybe. Has he? What do you mean? Has he been fantastic? I, I just want to move on to Super Chat. He's giving a Super Chat. I just okay, want to okay. move on. Yeah, I wasn't going to really say anything. I'm going to search you Twitter, guys, because I'm sure... Say no, more, say, no more, say no more, say no more, say no more. He gave a Super Chat, and like I said, we're just moving on. That's all it is. Say no more, say no more. <laughs> Let me get the Super Chats on Tottenham and United, and the ones with Chelsea in rather than the rest. If there's any Arsenal City-related ones, we're going to move on to that. Nathaniel says, Poch Blues, Mental Spurs, Legend. Poch Blues, oh, mental okay. spurs legend to rebuild their rivals. I got it, guys. Just one second. Apologies. Let me just crank this up. Oh, no answer. Uh, what's this? Is it, 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 this music? I don't like that it's copyright. Yeah, it might be. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but basically, he's tweeted. They said Anthony's a flop, silencing the haters again. So I think we know where Saeed stands on that super chat. Okay, fantastic. Oh, is that brilliant inside information? Oh, is that why he's giving me all the moody answers? No, no, I'm just literally. Yeah, I know what he said. Um, speak soon. Yeah. 
Light skin stare says, usually I find it hard to get over Arsenal's pain, but Spurs go and get rimmed by six. I love that club and that vid. Chelsea getting Poch and Spurs, getting Mason. I don't know how Tobes is feeling. Not Sick. good. Sick. It's crazy. Turkish and the panel. A few months back, I asked if Arsenal finished second and United win two trophies, who's had the be- a better season? You said the team with trophies still agree. I do agree with that. If United had the FA Cup, then they would have had a better season, in my honest opinion. But if they walk out with just the League Cup, I, I don't give a fuck about the League Cup. So I think Arsenal would have had the better season. That's my opinion. You lot? I agree. Yeah, I disagree. Yeah, I agree. So hold on. I if say, if I, I say to, if I say to you, you're gonna you're gonna challenge for the league next season and push whoever Manchester City to within a point in the last six games, or you can take League Cup and, and fight for top. No, but no, but don't just take League Cup. That the question was who's had a better season? Yeah. But what would you prefer? Who's had a better? The question is who's had a better season. It's not about I'm you. Think. Do you I'm think you've had a better season than Arsenal right now? Crazy. Well, yeah, th- we've got a trophy. How? That, how you, how? bro? Are you kidding me? We've had a, we got a trophy, mate. Bro, the Community Shield is harder to win than the League Cup, bro. But bro, League Cup is a trophy. We got the Community Shield, oh, by the way. Man. I don't. The Community Shield trophy. is harder to okay, win than the League Listen, Cup. You've not won anything, man. Stop glorifying nothing. You've not won anything. Yeah, and but then, but you just said who's had a better season. So how can the team that has been better, been better and won what? Yeah, but you won a League Cup be, playing teams that... What do you mean you... playing? It don't matter. You've won a Look, trophy. Name the, name it's the okay teams. to be okay. Listen, it's okay Brother, to, to say, you know what? It's better. Like, trophy is a trophy. Like, I, it's okay. You're right. You're right. right. You're right. Which is why I agree with you. I'd put my hands up. If we never won anything and they won the Carabao Cup, it's a better season because they've won a trophy. I'd put my hands up. Oh, Carabao Cup is dead. But again, it's, it's, it even... might be dead, but it's still a better season than, than Arsenal. No, it's not. It's not. Not with just okay. the Carabao. Yeah, I, that's that's your opinion. I'm not going to bash your opinion. I'm not going to bash your opinion. Ah, cool. Um, I hope you win the Premier League, by the way. Now I know you do. You're the only one here that does. And Dow oh, Square says 16 points clear of I'm 50 50 still. Say that again? Nothing. Oh, you're going back. Well, you're back to 50 50. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought you'd, I thought you would want this for Arteta. After all the propaganda, yeah. no, he right doesn't right. like it. He doesn't like Arteta potentially being able to win the same. I told you guys it was fake love in the pro- chat pro- and all that Arteta propaganda. Uh, we got super for... chats in it. We got super oh, chats. Oh, Grizz, he's Arteta. looking out for us. He wants the best for us, Arteta. Arteta my oh, God. Let me now, switch now Arteta's having his best season to call Arteta? in the dugout, and, and Grizz is not happy. It doesn't. Really he's doing a magnificent it. job. Keep, it doesn't keep really it make up. sense to me. I'm not gonna lie. Doesn't really. Keep it up. My man's doing a bit wicked job, and I believe Arsenal have had a better season than United. What more do you want me to say? <laughs> Again, I'm gonna just remind people. I'm gonna save the Arsenal City super chats for when we talk about that. That's why I've moved on from it. Um, and big up the Mitchell brothers in the chat as well. I see a few comments from them. UK music OG. So big up you guys in the chat. Um, Spurs sat Conte to get his assistant to then sat back into him and get his assistant who had already been interim before. <laughs> Joke of a club. That's Tottenham so bad. Tobes is selling MacBooks on Twitter during the match. This is a lie, but fine. Whatever, whatever it takes for you to get your laugh, bro. Cool. <laughs> Was it after the match? It was like a day before, bro. I was trying to sell that shit on Saturday. <laughs> Did you sell it? I've got a buyer, so I'm going to meet the buyer this week. Yeah. Okay. If you, quote, if you see me at the stadium, don't forget you can come over for a hot dog and a foam finger, Daniel. <laughs> That's from Karen. Um, Arsenal. Matisse has too much chest for someone having the worst season of the top six. Someone remind him of his position. My coping mechanisms are incredible and you just need to just learn, yeah, Memphis Depay, learn and watch because you would never think I'm out of all competitions in 11. Look at me smiling. Look at me. Look at me, bro. I'm, I'm so happy. I'm so happy, bro. Just, just, this is, I said you got to laugh or you're crying. You guys, when you have bad seasons, you'd rather be depressed. Bro, I'm just living life, bro. Next season, we go again. Good day. It's not a real smile, though, is it? It is if you bottle it. I'm not going to lie, like you did it against Southampton. Karma, <laughs> <laughs> karma. We've got time right now. We've got time. Marco, as Tobes has said how it is with Spurs all season, he's been real. 
It's just some deluded Spurs fans and everyone else that finally clocked on yesterday. Weekly updates is Soboli wants a yes man, but spends money, shows ambition and wants to win. Do you realise what you are saying? Complete contradiction. He's not Levy. Thanks for that weekly update. Freddie says, Turkish enjoying the downfall of the other big six London clubs. That smile says it all. Big up to Turkish, Saeed and the whole panel. Say he says, told is right. Spurs were considered part of the big five that helped with the creation of the Premier League in the 90s. Hmm. Hamza, <laughs> you lot are playing nasty games. The revi- revisionism on Poch is mad. He's much better than Arteta, Ten Hag and Nagelsmann. Excited to have him at Ch- All right, Hamza. Calm it down. <laughs> Aslan says, as a United fan, it honestly shocks me how easy Spurs away has been in the last couple of years. Our easiest game by a distance. Norwich away was harder. Ryan, Tobes, come and join the red side of North London as I no longer want to see you in this pain, brother. Although <laughs> Arsenal aren't great at the moment, we'll turn it around. They got Ryan, hope you're good. Memphis again, Hugh. People tend to remember the team that achieved the treble for the first time rather than the second. Just saying, that's a force if I've ever seen one. I'll take a treble anytime, bro. I'll take a treble anytime. Where are we? That's, that's Arsenal, that's City, that's Arsenal, City, that's City, that's City. Saeed, you're tripping. The Gea's ego won't allow him to be a backup. If you have two good goalkeepers, it means you don't have a goalkeeper. Mm-hmm. I know that for a fact, being at Chelsea. There's a number one and there's a number two. And in fact, Begovic even said as well, he prefers to have a one or two. He's been a one at Stoke and he's been a two at Chelsea. And most goalkeepers prefer to have uh, a set position going into the season. So their mindset, it's not like any other position where you're fighting for your place. Your backline needs to know who your goalkeeper is and your goalkeepers want to know who their goalkeeper is. Like they want to know who's starting and who's bench. You don't you don't really mm. rotate goalkeepers. So this is why I don't really understand this A or second choice. Like it doesn't make no sense. Number two, you, if you replace number, it properly, you don't the hair doesn't play. Yeah. The number two basically can't be so bad that they're like a net negative on your team. Yeah, mm. yeah. You, you accept that they're not going to be there's gonna be a considerable drop-off from the the number one. Mm. And Saeed keeps mentioning Manyan. You've got I think you've got a kink with um, mentioning these players that play in the Serie A that you you, you can't get. I did say David Rai as well. Yeah, but you mentioned Manyan though, and he's going to cost you about like 50, 60 million quid on top of the Oshiman that you want to sign, on top of this player that you want to sign. That's oh. looking like 300 million pound, brother. Well, listen, you got man. the calories coming in. You got any updates for us? It seems like you've got the answers here. So, shall I just... <laughs> you know, I don't, more, I don't, you're not the question and you give me the answers. Like, no, no, no. I'm not... I'm literally that's asking that's a question. I said, I said, that's looking like a £300 million pound window. So, but maybe, I didn't say, oh, you, Mike Maney will be difficult. You must some updates on the Qataris. So, in line... The Qataris, well, we'll find out because the deadline's on the 28th. Um, so, hopefully, that should be good news. We should hear about new bids coming in. Um, and then obviously and the, chat, the chat are right as well. I was even kind saying 50 million. Allison costs 60. This guy's one of the most yeah. in demand goalkeepers on the planet. Plus, he's looking like 60, 70 million. But also, but also, he's in a very comfortable position, man. AC Milan, he actually loves it over there. He doesn't like it's not as if he wants to leave. That's why I did say that. Like, he's very comfortable at Milan. So, I think that would be the toughest one to do. I think maybe you're looking at David Raya. Um, that's why I did mention David Raya as well. So, yeah. cool. Um, Another one here. Where is it? Big up, big up the crew. The reason why United are careful with keepers is new ones always crumble in the first season at United. The plan might be to ease in a new goalkeeper. When it comes to the Gea, United fans always sound like petulant little children, always emotional, not logical, very irritating. We need better. What if Arsenal win the league, United the FA Cup and Madrid the Champions League? Would City have bottled it as well? Three tough opponents. Well, you... yeah, well, you... mm. yeah I, I'd, I'd say yeah. I mean, maybe not Champions League with Madrid, but I'd say... Wait, what if Arsenal win the league? Of course. Yeah, why, why, you, why are you, why you, you debating that? You can't win nothing if you're City. That's mad. Yeah, yeah why, um, you not, why did you take your time answering sorry, that? Sorry, because I was just deep in the madness. Like, do you know how mad that would be if that happened? Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. That's crazy. It's very you know, unlikely. It's very unlikely. unlikely. That'd be wild. That's a bottling. 100% that's a bottling. I, I think it depends on Wednesday, man. I think it depends on Wednesday. 
if we nah, win on Wednesday, it's not uh, we the same way you listen. If that happens, don't go anywhere. That's what I'm saying. If it happens, transition season. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> You're mad. <laughs> don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. TBG says, I'm sure Pep has only lost one domestic cup final in the last decade, and that was against Mourinho. But Saeed has had his copium dosage, I'm guessing. Big up. Just Wofferlin says, Saeed, the gear needs to go. 200k for a backup. Matisse is right about competing keepers. Can't go back to Tim Howard versus Roy Carroll days. <laughs> By the way, that figure, I said 200k. It might not be 200k. I don't know. Just, I just give a random figure. Saeed no. said basically that David De Gea is going to basically cut his wages in half for the love of the club. <laughs> Again, <laughs> listen, we don't know yet. It's, it's all guessing games, isn't it? We'll have to oh, find man. out, isn't it? It's, You're it's, actually it's, hilarious, man. I swear to God. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> they, call it, they, call it, they call it an top. educated guess. An educated guess is that he's not going to half his wages and half his 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 status in this <laughs> And and go <laughs> bench roll after being one of the leaders in Listen, the main line. Yeah. Okay, Educated guess that ain't happening. I'm not gonna lie. I'm Listen, gonna I'm gonna take biggest things have happened in football. Uh, things have happened in football. I don't know. You know what I mean? Sorry, right now, wait, let me ask you something. Would you do that? Would you do that? You know FIFA's you know, you know FIFA when you sign a player. You know FIFA when you sign a player and you say, Oh yeah, you choose a uh, crucial <laughs> crucial important. Rotating, yeah, 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 yeah. And you yeah. put them in crucial, yeah. but if you don't play them, they'll kick them home. But you just, yeah. you just put in some blanket statement and it will boost their morale up. Yeah. This is what Saeed thinks this yeah. is. <laughs> Saeed, yeah, man. You actually made me smile again, man. Thanks, you and Grizz, man. Thank you. For yeah. that, bro. Uh, it's all right, man. It's all right. I got you, man. <laughs> I got you. Uh, El Don <laughs> says Charlton beat Brighton, who beat Arsenal, Newcastle beat Southampton, who beat City, who beat Liverpool, and Chelsea. How's that our fault that you all suck? I didn't say it's your fault, my guy. I just said the Carabao Cup in general is a shit cup. Gosh. I agree, though. But again, like I said, that wasn't the question, though. Some of us would have had a better season. But yeah, listen, I get, yeah. I get that. I get that, Tom. But it is what it is. All right, that's the I last one. Within, within the context of Man United, I get it. When a, this is a team that's been winning like league titles and, and being in champions. Oh, you don't spend a hundred million on two wingers in two summers to win the Carabao Cup. That's, I that's get you. Yeah, you're right, you're right. That's not the aim. That's a you're whole right. other kind of perspective you put on there in terms of a whole other yeah. argument you put on there. Two hundred and fifty million. You're not spending that just to win the league cup. I hear oh. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Gareth says loved how Saeed listed Anthony, Bruno, etc. as weapons. United will do what they do every season, spend money on overpriced, quote, world-class players only to realise they are not world-class. Thank you, Gareth. Hope you and the fam are good. I believe that's all of the ones on United, Tottenham and Chelsea. And if I've missed any apologies, I will look to get them in later. But it's prediction time and we start with Tottenham United. Tobes, home team, you go first. 3-1, uh, Man United. 3-1, United. Matisse. And uh, three 0 United. Actually, no. Three one, three one. Harry Kane will score. Three one United. Um, I'm gonna go for two one United. Hugh. Um. Yeah, two one United as well. 2-1 as well. Saeed? I'm going to go with 2-0 United. 2-0 clean sheet. Grizz? 1-1. 1-1. -1. Mm, Mad. Perry Mason, you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> and I bet you, I bet you any money, if we win, if by some, if by some, from, some, some, some crazy um occurrence that we win, you're gonna see all the all the all the gas. Oh, he should have got the job in the first place. Oh, he should have been in consideration. All this nonsense. The same BS that we heard when Stellini beat Man City, man. It's gonna be like clockwork, honestly. I'm sick of two, it. Two more super chats have come in. We're gonna do Chelsea Brentford prediction as well. I might as well get that out of the way. Why always why always meets a Turkish? Lee Gunner said that who thinks Arsenal had the better season than United is a disgrace if Arsenal don't win and United win just the League Cup. Lee Gunner said that who... Maybe that means whoever thinks Arsenal had... Whoever thinks. 
That's what maybe, I'm saying. Maybe Lee rates the League Cup. What can I do about that? At the end of the day, I don't think the League Cup is anything special. And if I look at a season where United have won a League Cup and we challenge for the title, all right, it's not memorable to challenge and not get it over the line. But the League Cup is not memorable either, especially if you don't couple it up with nothing. Especially if you don't couple... If you don't couple it up with another trophy at the very least, it becomes irrelevant if you, if you ask me. No one's going to remember in five years, oh, Man United won the League Cup in 2023. That's my point. And yeah, someone yeah. said, oh, if Arsenal win it, I would have a different tune. No, I wouldn't. I swear to you, I wouldn't. I do not give a shit about the League Cup. I grew up on the League Cup being the cup where the youngsters and reserves were played in it by all the big clubs. Then Jose came to the league and Jose made it relevant. Then Pep's continued that relevance on. And here we are, you know, people are singing and dancing about the League Cup. For me, it hasn't changed. I, I just think it's a, it's a dead trophy. We don't need two domestic cups in England. And in reality, the community shield, which is not even a trophy, is harder to win than the League Cup because you either have to win the league or win the FA Cup to be able to win the community shield, both of which are majors. So that, that's just my opinion on it. Mm. Say also says, why is it ridiculous that De Gea would take a pay cut? He's not an in-demand keeper across Europe and nobody's going to pay him even 200k. Yeah, but he's not going to stay as backup, especially when he's getting on a bit. Heard Matisse talking about me, says, yes, man, shut up, you dusty club. And next season, you better win something with all those players and a proper coach, in quote marks. <laughs> Last one, Christine. I'm a United fan, but the question of who's had a better season is genuinely irrelevant. I would swap to be in Arsenal's trajectory in a heartbeat. Fair. Fair. But like I said, if they, add the, if they add the FA Cup to it, then I'll say United had a better season. That's just my opinion. Chelsea, Brentford, Matisse. Um, there's nothing to say, so I'm not going to waste any time. Um, hmm. I'm going to go over 1 0 win. Just because I'm feeling, I'm feeling generous. Brentford at home. No, you Chelsea at home, no. Sorry, yeah, yeah, Brentford at home. We're at home, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I don't say that with confidence. By the way, we could easily get slapped up. So you're going one nil win. You know what? Fuck it. I need to keep the distance with you at the bottom of the table. One nil. You are actually crafty. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> you got to do that Turkish stuff, man. You got to do it. <laughs> oh, I'm trying, man. I need, to see out, I need to see out the season, my guy. Um, you you. The, it's just nasty <laughs> behavior right there. Yeah, this is what I mean, innit? This is what I mean. These tactics. Okay. One this is why I try to change the rules every every season. I try to change the rules. <laughs> you have to be the PGML, ML, yeah. Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, what do you say? 1 0. Chelsea. You're trying to keep that distance too. I hear you, Saeed. I'm going to go for 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. Grizz? 2-1, Chelsea. Tobes? Two, 2-1, one, Chelsea. 2-1. Right, everyone's gone for either a Chelsea win and one's gone for a draw. Mad, it's been a while since that happened. But yeah, <laughs> all of the predictions are in and we're about to move on. Before we move on, people, we're on 1.8k likes. There's 7.6k in the building. Let's hit the like button. We should get close to 3k before the show ends, if I'm honest. Big, big numbers. So love for the support. And obviously, Manscaped, 20% off, TB620. You know all about that already. But also, Factor75. If you're from the US, there's seven days left to redeem this code. The code is Factor SE32690. It's pinned in the live chat. It's pinned in the comment section. I'll pin it in the, um, in the comment section below. I mean, it's pinned in the description. I'll pin it in the comment section. You can get 50% off your first orders and then some discount off your next four orders. Um, someone actually messaged me the other day from the US saying they used it and the food was actually was actually delicious. They not, not messaged me. They did a super chat on the watch along against Southampton. So if you don't believe me, you can go there and see for yourself. So if you're from the US, you need ready-made meals, you've got a hectic lifestyle, you want to eat better, you want to eat good, there's a 50% off code there. You can use it. The link's in the description. The code is there. Like I said, this is only for people in the US. So show them some love. If you need that, get that. Use the code and you show the channel some love too. And big up Manscaped each and every day. TB620, 20% off. Let's move. Um, Chelsea, done. Tottenham United, done. All right, cool. We move. So what next? I think it's obvious, brother. 
Yeah, yeah, a lot of goals. In, a lot of goals in the game. Um, <laughs> Salah won it for them in the end. So mad, 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 mad. So Grizz, how are you feeling about the three points? Mad, mad. Mm. I'm, I'm, me and Matisse, we've spoken enough this season. The focus has been on us. We've got nothing to say. Ours is just a procession until the end of the season. We don't want to talk about our game. We could do the predictions and move on to the main story. <laughs> yeah, man. Facts, facts. What's oh, going on, man? Oh, What's we can wrap the show up. <laughs> ah, nah, nah. Love for the love. No, 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 no. We gotta talk about um North London is is red and whatnot because Southampton went there and got something. I should have left with more. That's Potentially. Go, go That's ahead, good. go on. You man, you man do your thing. What, what do you want to say? What's the no, question? I just said what I said. That's that was a madness of a result. I couldn't believe that. I agree. I agree. You've blown it, man. For fuck's sake. You've proper blown Come it. Man. We, need to, we need to hear that you've got this. this is, Come on, yeah, Toki. Well, uh, I, I think you've blown... I think... Well, it's not up to me, bro, about you need to hear that we've got no, this. Obviously, you're, you're, not, you're, the, you're, the, you're the representative here. We just need to know <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, we, 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 we ain't got this, my bro. I'm going to be honest with you. We ain't, we ain't got this right now. That's that's the... That's ah, the man. This is one... This is that game on Wednesday, man. you got to pull it out, man. Sinchenko knows that team. Jesus, you know what I mean? Arteta... Go out there and and you know what I mean. Like, I don't know. Do you not think you got the powers in there? You know, players in there. Do you, do you think if we all have um, next time we see each other, if we all get in a huddle and have a conversation about, it, do you think we'll be able to change the way it's going? Maybe, <laughs> maybe. That needs to stop, by the way. That, I, I generally, <laughs> generally, that generally, needs to man. Stop. Generally, stop, <laughs> way. you know what? It's, it's actually quite cringe. I'm being honest with you. Like, it's cringe, man. You need to stop that. Like, go and stop what you're doing and making mistakes and all this. Like, you focus on you, mate. Like all these huddles and this, brother, not every day assessment, not every day kind of dissecting what happened. You know what's happened. Get on with it. She thinks a bit. No, I get you. I get you. I mean, you've been making a lot of mistakes. We shouldn't need to do that. We shouldn't need to do that against Southampton. He got got nuts nuts at Anfield. He got nuts at Anfield. Then Tierney got cooked against West Ham. And then he comes back into the team. And then he, for two of the goals, is at fault. And he wants to do the huddle. So, listen, I, I think Odegaard was quite clear. He, he was like, yo, listen, focus on yourself, brother. Do you know what I mean? And um, I'm the captain. I'm the captain now. Do you know what I mean? That, that, was the kind of, that was the kind of message I got from Odegaard when he spoke to Zinni after that. But I don't know. I think, I think with Arsenal, you're, you're, what, what Hugh has been saying the whole time, which is last 10 games, last 10 games, last 10 games, last 10 games. And now we're in the last 10 games and... I have no doubts if you play Southampton two months ago, you 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 whooped them. But the, the three points now is not the, the same as the three points back in J- January. And it's not the same as the three points back in October. Because this three points is is got pressure on it. It's got way more pressure on it. And when you're conceding a goal inside 28 seconds, it's nothing to do with anything but nerves for me. It has to be nerves. It has to be nerves. Like it, for me, it just it just it just says that if, team... if it's nerves, do you do, does your keeper try and play it? Between two Southampton players, like I, I don't really think that's nerves. I think it, again, it kind of leans towards some kind of. You think complacency? Oh, complacency, oh, yeah. I mean, if it's I've nerves, been saying that. I've been saying he kicks that. that straight out. He kicks that straight out to Rose Z if it's nerves. But he yeah. tried to play a pass that really didn't didn't look on. I agree with Turkish, hundred percent. I agree with Turkish. That's not nerves, bro. That's not nerves. That's that's if anything, and it's very difficult to prove. That is, com- or not arrogance, but why should they be complacent or arrogant in a title race that they've never it's been? It's all about individuals, Matisse. Each individual character personality. You can build yourself up. Psyche can build you up. Fan base can build yourself up. Social media can build yourself up to a place where you're right. You've never been before, but you're so confident, full of yourself. And some players have that complex about them. And I believe, and I've said it, but cons- I've been consistent. Ramsdale is one of those. Sometimes mm-hmm. it can work for you, yeah. and it can work against you. Yeah. That, that, that's one of the big pros Ramsdale has is that kind of that you know confidence. Yeah, that, it's that, complex, you know. man. Yeah, is it over you? Hundred percent. But it cost us. It cost us in that first thirty seconds. I don't put that down to nerves, but the more I look at the last three games, you, you can look at moments and say it comes down to the pressure. Hundred percent, you can and you can justify that, and I can't argue that. But you can look at other moments and say, how do you go two 0 up at Anfield if you're under pressure? How do you go two 0 up in ten minutes against West Ham if you're under pressure? How do you put in that five minutes at the end of the game against Southampton, coming from three one down to draw three three if you're under pressure? It's some of the moments. 
don't don't cry pressure to me. It cries. I don't know what it cries. If I'm honest, mm. I'm I'm lost for words. I think it's complacency as well because end of the day, on that moment, maybe they're just kind of taking it for granted. I don't know. They're, they're kind of looking at the game, thinking, you know what, feet up now. We, you know, everything's all good. You know, what I mean, we, we you can't have that. You have to play for ninety minutes. I know it sounds cliche. I know it's basic. But you have to play to ninety minutes. I don't know. It's, it's a, you are right. It's a mixture. It's pressure. But it's also that kind of feeling of you know what the game's quite done and we don't really need to show the principles because what they were showing the principles of what they were showing at the start of the season that's why they were there at the top of the table and that's why they got the the kind of applaud applauded. But right now they're just lacking their principles and and certain players are not performing as well. If I'm be, if I'm being really honest with you, some players are not performing now. Your key players are not performing. Thomas Partey. You know, these players that were there at the start of the season that were, were kind of your linchpin, they're not performing now. And that's the worry for me going into this Man City game. Your key players are not performing. Yeah, Partey was terrible last game. I think he, he was bad against West Ham too. I think against Anfield, I mean, against Liverpool at Anfield, the party had a very good first half, not so much second half, and he's fallen off since then. Jay Zut missed a hell of a lot of chances against Southampton. He needs to be burying um, at least one of those. Who else are we talking? Saka looked quiet against against West Ham. I think he looked decent in, in the first half, better in the second half against Southampton. Martinelli, I don't think he's ever looked poor in this running. I think he's the one that stands up the most. I think he's the one that's kind of excelling under the pressure, the one that seems to you know want to fight the most. He's the one creating, he's the one scoring our goals. Um, Odegaard, he has gone missing from time to time and then you see him... You see him pull up, pull up a, sh- a shot in the 90th minute to bring us back into the game, but you wonder why that didn't come earlier because there was time that 70 minutes I was crying for some of these players to be shooting because it was a bit too much pass, 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 pass. He wasn't really creating um, anything until that final five, ten minutes injury time and so on. So you're you're right, key players, key players have been quiet over the last couple of games. Like, you know, if there's a time to stand up and fight, it's going to be against City at the Etihad. I just think it's too little, too late. I don't, even if we beat Southampton and we beat West Ham, I'd still sit here and predict that we lose to City at the Etihad because that's just what it is. I just feel City know what they're doing, they've got the experience, they're in that fine form. So, going into it off the back of two draws where the advantage is clearly in City's hands right now. We've left a lot on our plate to, to deal with, and I don't think we, we're going to be able to deal with it. Listen, I'll take a draw right now. I know a lot of people don't want to hear that, but I'll take a draw right now at the Etihad. The reason being because then it still remains open to you know a fight. Mm, I agree. Uh, I, think it, a point, it, I think a point would be a very good result for you based on what we've seen in the recent weeks. I'll take a draw too. i take a draw too, happily. What? I think yeah. You take a draw? I thought you was a shock. Yeah, we sharks. But yeah, draws... bite, bite them then, isn't it? No. <laughs> <They're gonna laughs> saying, and you said to the we're, 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 tossing, we're tossing you a whole heap of meat, and you just, you just want to take a couple of bites, and then you. Yeah. What it, kind it, of shark, shark are you? Shark, smart man. Shark, shark, smart man. We tell you when we're talking, we snap what we want. No, no, no. <laughs> you're touch tight now. Nah, bro. You're at home, though. Listen, you've been swimming behind them and talking about the blood, and you can smell it in the water, and you're going and you're circling. It's time to bite now, yeah? This game, yeah. I need you, man, to win. You need to bite them. You need to eat them. Bro. That's it. This is not the shark I've been seeing <laughs> online. I, I believe we will win. I, I believe we will win, and, and I, I want us to win, obviously. But if it, for some reason, turned out to be a draw, I wouldn't be devastated, is all I'm saying. No, but we're not saying... You said you take a draw. You shouldn't, no, you should, you shouldn't be saying that. I, w- I wouldn't walk away from the stadium to... absolutely good, but I think we'll oh, win. But you, you made all this... You had a song and dance about me. Good enough, me. Sorry, lost to that. United at home, but now you are the informed team. You are the sharks. You are the one that smelled blood in the water, like you said. And now you're saying that you take What's a that draw. noise, man? I don't know what that noise is. What is that? Brother, it's Saeed doing some baby shark songs. No, nah, generally, it's not me. My thing was on me. That's crazy, bro. That was mad. But yeah, all, you can't, you can't, that me. I reckon it was, man. You can't give it all this all this shark talk and, and then say, oh, yeah, yeah, draws calm. Nah, man. No, no, nah. no, no. no I want to win. I want yeah, to win. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. Must win. You must. I believe we will, and I want to win. I'm just I'm saying a draw is not, is not a complete disaster no. for us, Bang Man. It we have two games in Trust me, it's a catastrophe. It's not, it's, not it's, not <laughs> it's not about it being a disaster. It's about you saying this is our opportunity to actually now actually seize grip. 
sees grip no, no, of this no, I haven't got to the point where I was going to speak it. That's, be, that's what I was going to say. I'm just, I'm just running off the point that Turkish was making a better draw, and I was kind of saying, I'd take it too. But that's not what I want. That's not what nah, I think. you shouldn't say that. Because nah, my, my, if, I'm, if, I'm in, if I'm in your shoes, if I'm in your shoes, I would love to be in your shoes, by the way, of course, but I'm not, right? If I was in your shoes, this is your opportunity to take the title race out of Arsenal's hands. Because mm -hmm. as it stands now, it's still in their hands. If you beat them at home, it is no longer in their hands, right? Because then that means you have two games in hand over them and you're two points behind them. If, if they, that, if it's they in their hands already. If it's in their hands. We're five, 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 five points ahead. ahead. They yeah, get two games in hand. Yeah, but, but, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, but, but psychologically, but, psychologically, a win but, is, is, is Arsenal finitoed. That's how I see it. I don't think you're listening to me. I want to win. I'm totally with you. I don't like what you said. You take a draw. I believe we're going to win. We don't listen. We don't listen, Huey. We don't listen. We don't listen. This guy's show. Listen, listen. We don't listen on this show. You want to win. You want to win. Two out of three. You want to win. You think you'll win. But you said you'll take a draw. And I have massive issue with that. As a as a Chelsea supporter, as a Chelsea supporter and part of the Oil Clubs Union, that is not We don't do that. I'm saying perfect. So you need to say the fact that a draw is no use to Arsenal. A draw is absolutely no use to Arsenal. We still have two games in hand after that. We're not taking they a need draw. To close. They, need to, they need to open up a gap. They yeah, need to win. I, we don't we're not need taking, win. I, I don't agree. I don't agree with a draw is no good to we're Arsenal. Not taking a draw. I don't think it is good for Arsenal. They need to win. No, of course they do. But a draw isn't... Like a point's better than none, right? Like, take no, point, like yeah, yeah, but a, a point is better than none. But what I'm saying to you is, for them to strike a, a significant blow, they need to win because uh -huh. they've not won, they've not won in their last yeah. three matches. The Man Arsenal. Oh yeah, 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 hundred percent, hundred percent, of course. But but a draw just keeps it going. Yeah. A win, actually, a City win is all over. Mm. Yeah. An Arsenal win, I still make City favourites. Yeah. But it's enough. tight. And a draw Fair just enough. a draw is just that's why I think what both brothers mean. Like I know what they both mean. Because I went to Etihad last season. Same, you know, even though we situation. needed even no no but even though we needed to win, I was okay with not okay with a draw because we wanted to win. You know what I mean? But I would take in a draw. Do you know what I mean? Especially when we were two 0 down and we came back to two all and we kept it going. And you know, shit could have happened, for example, that last game of the season when they go two 0 down. So shit can happen. So you don't want to be out of the picture. Trust me. So Turkish is saying, if we lose, we're we're done. So the draw just keeps it going and gives us some some yeah. form of I hope. No, mm. I, I just I, I'm with you. I was just kind of outlining that little point of the whole situation. But I, yeah. my honest opinion is that my honest opinion is that we will win the game. I think it is set up for us to win this game. We're 15 unbeaten. This is the game where Haaland, Robot Haaland, the guy I told you will be one of the most exciting Premier League signings of all time, can break the record in his first season. And he's up against more than likely Rob Holding, who he's already bullied back in February. We're playing great. We're scoring goals. We're in a, a cup semi final, Champions League semi final. The team is oozing that confidence that we've seen over the years this stage of the season before. And it's such a turnaround to where we were um, three, four months ago. So I think this is the perfect time for us to play Arsenal. They're off the back of three poor results. No one expected Arsenal to drop points to West Ham and Southampton. When I was when we were looking at games off the back of the last international break, identifying which ones do Arsenal feel could be a banana skin. West Ham and Southampton weren't banana skins for me. They're ones I thought were semi-formalities. So we're getting them at a vulnerable point. And they're not playing the way they were three months ago. I think it's a setup for us to win. And I, I expect us to win. We're playing so well right now. And that's, that's really what I feel. But the whole draw thing, I was just saying, if for some... Mad occurrence it turned out to be a draw. Not even mad occurrence, but if it turned out to be a draw, I wouldn't walk away going, damn, that's a massive disaster. It just keeps it moving. Keep it moving next game. Yeah, don't get it. Like, what Chris said is exactly how I feel. I mean, don't get it twisted. I sit here now after the Southampton game thinking we fucked it already. I, I, I think it's gone already. But a loss at the Etihad, then, then it's over, over. I don't even want to hear, you know, the positivity merchants try and spin it and say, if this, if that then it's over, over. I already think it's over because of the the way we're playing and the results <laughs> that in the last couple. What, Matisse? If you lose <laughs> and you're on the watch along with Laurie and he turns to you and says, this doesn't change anything. <laughs> you, see doing, isn't it? you see what he's doing to man, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, but what does this change, Turkish? We lost. What does this change? <laughs> I will be there no matter what. I swear to God. Um, just, I'm, 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 I'
He's starting now. Oh, be brilliant. <laughs> but listen, like, like Grizz said, a, a City win, they win the league title. An Arsenal win is, is still all to play for. A draw, it goes on. Does that mean that I think if we take a point from Etihad that we're going to win it? I don't. Because I feel like the games we've got coming up and the way we're playing, I can only see in... I can only see our performances turning round with a victory at Etihad. I don't think a draw turns it around in that sense. And at the same time, we play Chelsea on Tuesday. So a loss at the Etihad and then, and then City go beat Fulham on the weekend. They're above us in, the, in, in, what, seven days. City could be back above Arsenal in seven days with two games in hand or with a game. I don't know how it works out. I, I don't have high hopes. I can't lie to you. I think we fucked it at South, against Southampton. Not even that. I think we fucked it. I agree. I think you did. Yeah, yeah. Look, that's six points you've dropped in the last three, right? It's all over. It's yeah. Finished. You can't do that. You can't do that at this yeah. time. And Trust and me. Way, we used to cry. You... We used to cry dropping one draw. Like, we we dropped... You know, in our races, we dropped one point against Spurs. One game, sorry. Mm. And it was all over. It was all over. I think we both won about 14 in a row. And I think we drew one. And it was all over. You lot have just dropped three points. Uh, mm -hmm. Three games. It's, it's over, and they still have Newcastle oh, away to come. Psychologically, New, Newcastle it's away. Over. Newcastle away is a very underspoken about fixture because look what they just look what they're on. Yeah. Newcastle away. This is the same team. Look smoke. what they did to Arsenal last year in the race for the top four. Newcastle away is a problem. Yeah, I, yeah. Obviously, that, that, about that cross is that bridge. You about cross that bridge when you get to it. I'm yeah, just saying, like, true. if they're gonna if they're gonna be dropping points, to South Africa, not, Newcastle not, is that's mad. What? So I don't... what? That's crazy, man. <laughs> what's it? What's it trying to say? No, I said this super chat is it's not true, man. I'm not trying to take out no frustration on Saeed. Saeed made me happy. I don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> it's mad, isn't it? Mm. But obviously, don't forget last week, Monday, was it Monday show? Yeah, because I wasn't here for Thursday. Monday show. I, I said it's not over after that West Ham draw. And I didn't think it was after the Southampton one. I'm mm. sorry. I know, you know, I know <laughs> it's, it's only a point, even if City win their two games in hand right now. But Realistically, going to the Etihad right now in the form we're in and the form they're in, it, it, does, it doesn't read well. I can't lie. Yeah, but that's why, yeah, but that's why the form they're in and the form you're in, a draw. Yeah, yeah, I get that. I get that. Yeah, a draw, a draw could. What, what I can hope for this week, I can hope for Arsenal to get out of Etihad with a draw and then Fulham to maybe do something against City on the weekend. That's, Bro. that's the only thing I can hope for. Because I don't see us beating City, and I'm and I just hope that if we do get a draw from it, that full what well, Fulham's away, Hugh, isn't it? Yeah. Then I just mm -hmm. hope and pray that Fulham can do something. Nah, Fulham, like, Fulham, are really, really, Fulham not playing Fulham great. The beach, man. Yeah, they're not. The beach yeah, they're the not stage. playing great at all. Mm. Two wins they're out two. Though. Two wins out two. Yeah. Right. Look at you, football focus. No, all the results. You said they're not playing well. They're not. I just watched them against Leeds. They didn't play good at all. He is football focused. He's doing Saturday football show now. I see him. Yeah, so two, two wins out of two. Two wins out of two, so. You know. And we see your prediction, innit? <laughs> For Fulham Man City. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the Gillette, Gillette Soccer Saeed special. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, nah, they're dead, 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 man. So, Arsenal, have, you know what I mean? I'm supporting them on Wednesday, though. Mm, Come on, man. That's what it's about, know, with, man. We finally woke up. Yeah, I'm back on the Arsenal. Just, just for that game. And then we assess it. No, no, no. Just for nah. the rest of the season. <laughs> we need you for the rest of the season. One game at a time. <laughs> <laughs> fucking saying was ever as relevant as it is now for Arsenal fans because I cannot care about Newcastle. I do not care about exactly. Bright. It is one game at a time. It's funny how you say that now, isn't it? But when it comes to saying it, you're like, yo. Yeah, but Cam was saying one game at a time and it was leading to nothing in, in reality. He was just saying yeah, well, this could be the same. He was, he was saying it so he could play both sides. So if Man United worry, yeah, yeah, yeah. go high. He I would, would say, say this funny now. You know, know, I've been saying this. And then if, if they don't, he'd be like, oh, I said it just so he could take patience. Cam knows what he's doing. He's, he's, <laughs> he's um, He ain't slick. I, I, I see past him. And, and I'm getting that Cam's because he's spreading this stupid hugger spud nonsense. And I keep seeing that hashtag all over the shop in my streams on Twitter, even on here, I'm seeing hashtag Hugger Spud. So he knows what he's doing. Hugger Spud. Hugger Spud, yeah. Is that what he's doing, yeah? Bruh. 
<laughs> Cam's is a big troll, you know. He never sticks his neck on the line anymore. Ever yeah, since. of course he does. Of course he doesn't. Of course he doesn't. He's too busy, too busy watching the classicers and stuff like that, man. That's that's. Told you, man. Culture scam, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he ain't a scam. He's just a, he's just the wind up. Come on, told you a lot from day. Culture scam. Mm-hmm. Uh cool. Anyone else want to say anything? Anyone else want to? Just you must in it. That's all I'm saying. You must. Mm. Don't about the rest of them. Mm. Yeah, hopefully. Look, look, look. If there's, you lot need to raise intensity. Look, Saliba, of course, is going to be a massive loss, but you lot need to get back to Saka and Martinelli in front because if anyone can hurt Man City, it's Arsenal. And Liverpool. Well, we are we are without um, Nathan Ake. He's going to miss the game, and he's oh, the one who locked down the crowd. Uh, well, like all, all but all but confirmed. Like mm. Pep will say it tomorrow. I, I we don't even know. They did a scan. They didn't give us the results, so I would imagine he's out. So Laporte, who's played like nineteen hundred minutes of football in this entire season, um, I imagine Bakayo Saka will be licking his lips, thinking this is an opportunity for me. Yeah, that 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 obviously that is good news for us because Ake's. Is, been quality this season. But it's that I holding know. factor, isn't it? It's 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 all glaring. Yeah. I d- you know it's not his fault the, the demise. It's not 100 percent agree that people are pinpointing it on holding. No man, come on. It's not it's not holding. It's no, he's an easy target, that's why Chris is an easy yeah, target. Yeah, easy target, yeah, yeah. The whole team hasn't performed. The players Turkish mentioned Bar Martinelli. Bar Martinelli, fighter, little fighter. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, we can move into predictions. I don't know if anyone else wants to say anything else about it. Hugh, um, do you have anything else to I'm add? Kinda, I'm kind of reserving my chest on, until after this game. If we, we win this game, a lot more chest will come out. I'm going to it, and listen, I understand these title races. Grizz will know. Grizz will know. These title races, every single game, absolutely sickening regardless of the circumstances. So we'll speak We'll speak Thursday, man. We'll speak Thursday and see what's happening then. But the shark, the shark's getting that bit closer. The jaws are open, man. I told you this. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck these sharks, man! <laughs> oh, cool. Now, before predictions, let's look at the super chats. Louis says, "Did we think that winning the league would be easy? City are favourites, but this league is far from over. Real ones embrace the struggle and the fight. Come on, you gunners!" Saliba injury gifted City the titles with the best, averaging zero point nine goals conceded with him, one point eight without. 78% win rate with, 40% win rate without. Our defence is in shambles and we don't have five world-class centre-backs like Man City. And I agree with this. You know, it, it, two things can be true at once. And I don't think, I wouldn't blame Rob Holden because we know what Rob Holden is. And, and to be honest with you, he, still, he shouldn't be at this club. I think that's one mistake that Arteta definitely made is giving him a new contract. The fact of the matter is not only these, but if you look at our XG prior to Holden being in the side and our XG after... Holding has come into the side. It, it is a mad difference. So it's not only defensively that has caused issues, it's off- offensively too. We know we're no longer calm, composed, playing at the back. We struggle to break the line. So I do think the Saliba injury um, has played a big part in it. And Rob Holding shouldn't be at the club. He should not be at the club anymore. But here we are. 16 points clear of third spots at Dow Square. Any other year, the league is over. But a billion pounds and 100 charges means the fake blue shark can nick it. Nothing mm-hmm. fake about the shark, man. It's caught you. Let me save this one here. Um, if it's all in your hands, Turkish, your hands must be very small or leaking. It's definitely not in our hands no more. Obviously, the Arsenal draw is a letdown, says Hideaway. But the fan meltdown has been so embarrassing. Everyone trying to be the first to say we won't win the league. Be a fan and back the team. They've earned it. And again, two things can happen at once. You can be back in the team, but still reserved about saying winning the league. I'm going to back Arsenal, t- um, I was about to say, tomorrow, Wednesday night. Of course I am. But I don't, I don't think we have it in us. That's just, the, that, that's just the general feeling I have. And can you blame someone that doesn't when we've just dropped points to Southampton at the Emirates and West Ham the way we did? Sandip says, sharks are everywhere except at the game. Plastic fan base. Uh, My it- common denominator with our lack of success is KSE. Honestly, I don't see us winning a major trophy under them this year. I haven't bought any merch since 2012. I'm worried about the future, Turkish. Now, Mike, I've said that on videos a year ago, two years ago. I don't, you know, I didn't ever think we'd win a major in terms of the Premier League. 
with Cronkers as the owners, then this season came about. And that's why I give Arteta so much credit for it because... Why? Why? Why is it, why is it Arteta? Why is it not Cronkers? They gave him the money. No, they no. I, I give I give Conte, I give Conte, they, they, kept, they gave uh, him the money and kept him in the job, right? Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! Why is it Arteta? Oh, are you going to talk? Oh, shit! They didn't give him the, enough money to say we're going to go and challenge for a league, did they? Oh. Mm, so 300, 350, 60 million quid over how long? Seasons. Over how long? Across three, across three seasons. So break that down. Um, break that down. Right. No, I'm, you're the mathematician, not me. So all right, 120, 120 million a year. Is that, is yeah, you... do that? The point I'm making is the point I'm making is every decision he's wanted to make, he's been able to make it because they've empowered him to make that decision. <sighs> right? So Arteta, so, so and like in your words, they chose, they chose to hire Arteta against <sighs> your against your fan bushes. So yeah. Arsenal being in a title race. <laughs> I want you to give credit to the Conte's. Oh. According to your logic, they're the reason why you guys are challenging for a title. Right. Haven't, you, haven't you heard me give credit to them for bringing in Arteta and remaining? I want you to give credit now. Say that uh, they're responsible for why you guys are challenging for a title. They're not responsible for why we're challenging for a why? title. Why are they not responsible? They're not responsible. How can you say they're responsible why? for us challenging why? for a title? How? How can you oh, say that? How can I? How can yeah. I say that? How? <laughs> It's, bro, it's 4 a.m. in India, bro. Have some respect, bro. <laughs> Come on, man. Checkmate. Come on, man. Checkmate. I don't know what you're doing there, bro. Some poor guy in the chat says 4 a.m. In, in India and you guys are about to start a whole new argument, bro. You're, you're playing solitaire. You're talking about checkmate, bro. There, there, mm -hmm. there's, no, there's no comparisons with, with Levy That's and, checkmate, and That's checkmate. That's checkmate. Ah, cool. That's um, checkmate, mate. <laughs> that's checkmate, mate. Jordan says, I'm excited for Arsenal versus City. Win, lose, or draw, they are the games you watch football for. P.S. I want to see AFTV Jordan cover for you, Turkish. The scenes. What, you mean cover for me here? Maybe that's a shout. Next time I'm not available, I might shout him. Memphis says, City spent one billion on players over seven years and hired a high-profile manager to win the Champions League, but they haven't succeeded. I call it robbery by Fraudiola. Too early for these conversations, man. Let the Champions League. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna. <laughs> Yogi says Rams, Gabby White, Jacques Aparte, Jorginho, defense unit, attack unit, Saka, Odegaard, Trossard, Jesus, and Martinelli. Please, Mikel, subs, Tommy. Tommy's injured. Nels, Zinni, what are you saying here, my guy? I don't understand. Yeah, Yogi. man. So, yeah, you know, I mean, if you're gonna Yogi, man, like go school in it. I don't understand what you're saying, my guy, but thank you. Super <laughs> Hamza says, wait, Turkish, do you believe Ten Hag, Arteta and Nagelsmann are better than Poch based on what? Just trophies or league performance or stuff? <laughs> I, I, I didn't say that they're all better than Poch. I, when when um, Emery got sacked, Poch is actually the one I wanted at Arsenal. I actually rate Poch. I think he's a he's a good manager, but I could ask you the same question, Hamza. Why did you send the initial super chat insinuating that Poch is better than them? What do you base it on? It's all opinions at the end of the day. Dodo says, who cares who we played? Liverpool had Spurs in the Champions League final and last season had Villarreal, Benfica and Inter on their way to a final. You need some luck sometimes. People forgot our group, innit? <clears throat> Turkish, your booking for 30th of May has been cancelled and your deposit has been refunded. Please ask Babs to stop leaving us voicemails crying at 3am from North London bus rental. Good one. Yeah, that's quite good. EFL and FA Cup both have the same Premier League opponents. Also, an Arsenal fan dismissing the Football League Cup is funny when you, all you've won for about 20 years are FA Cups. I don't know what you're saying here. FA Cups are over. Uh, it's late. That's what I'm saying. It's late. These, these man are bro, it's late, late, bro. You man are, bro, these man, these super chats are getting, getting tough to write, bro. It's late. Man are comparing League Cup to FA Cup now. It's mad. <laughs> Gareth says, Saeed, cringe. All I hear is waffle, waffle. Is having team spirit cringe? If that's cringe, what does Bruno do every game? Yeah, he's a prick. Like, yeah, Bruno's a prick. Bruno's a prick. But Gee, I love that conversation. Yeah, yeah. yeah dig it. <laughs> Darwin, son of Grizz Pepper, says, bottom free hating on Arsenal. Grizz, I still want my refund. Matisse, stop using Juju now. I'm scared. Turkish, it's over. The oh. banter is coming. Wow. Juju, man, has got something. To... Wow. Cool. <laughs> I'm not hating on Arsenal, man. I'm not hating on Arsenal. After all these weeks. 
Matty says, Arsenal fans are stressed without Saliba. We are. Seen too many of us want to shift Partey right back, white centre back. I personally want Rodri versus Partey showdown. I don't think the game is decided by Rodri versus Partey, if I'm honest. I'm not going to lie. That's, yeah, that's, that's magic. Not, on recent form, that's not looking like the one. In it. Rodri, Rodri got a rest in the weekend as well. He got a weekend off. Oh, shit. Yeah. For the first time in God knows how long, man. He needed to rest that guy. So he should be prime, man. Oh yeah. shit! Magic says, "Saeed, you cannot say to stop the huddles. It is a team sport. Two goals down. Hell, you need the huddles to pick up the low heads and try to push the team." I'm with Saeed, to be honest. I don't think he's saying he should stop the huddles, but he there's when you're two 0 down, like did that really change any anything in the game? Like, yeah, they come back to all. I think it did. Yeah, but you know, nah, but they wouldn't. They would have they they would have come back regardless of the huddle. Yeah. I don't see a problem. With I'm not that. gonna lie, yeah. If it continues and it, like mm. they do it all the time and make it like a signature huddle, then yeah. It is uh, becoming right, now, right now they're a young team. Right now they're a young team. No, but right now they're a very young team. They've brought in experienced players to be this kind of influence and calming influence, and I think it's fine. I agree. If they continue to make oh, a signature, he's the one that he's the one that. That's fine. Yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but that's yeah. Yeah, but that's even bigger for him not to hide and shrink. You understand? So he's saying, yeah, look, I fucked up. No problem, but let's do this. And they they done something. They came back. So I'm not going to lie. I was watching the, the faces of the players in that huddle. Yeah. And they, 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 they were, listen, bro. Yeah. They play, bro. You don't know about TV Spirit, man. No, no, I do. Man. I do. Your club, no, no, your no. club don't know. Come on. No. Oh, club, if you had a huddle, like, you know what I mean? Like, you, maybe it's the comfort of the ground, isn't it? If yeah, you're squad in a huddle, 60 man. If you had some team spirit, you wouldn't be where you are on the table as well. So I don't know why you guys are acting like as if you're this year's the season. But he's, he's got experience. Listen, that's why, yeah. listen, listen, listen. Players are not like they're not. Um, they're not. What's what's the word? They're not stupid, right? This 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 whole huddling thing. Don't don't try and pretend like Zinchenko, who's been playing poorly in the last couple of weeks. Him him saying, guys, in front of all these t- all these TV cameras, all these fans. Oh, guys, come come come, listen listen listen. Huddle yeah. huddle. Come on, man. Don't be silly. You think they want to listen to that shit? Come on, man. Look at their faces right. in the huddle. Go look back. Odegaard's telling them. Odegaard's telling them. Shh. Like, what the hell, man? Let's like, just get on with it. He's got his eyes closed. He ain't even listening. Saka's Saka's face is miserable, bro. They don't want to hear this shit, bro. You know what? You know what it is as well. Obviously, the experienced players that Chris talks about coming in is Jesus and Zinchenko primarily, and they're still young. They're experienced because of what they've come into. The squad they've come into is so much younger than they are. They're just they're still mid twenties. Really, you need. I think you still need a couple older heads. And yes, Partey is an older head, but Partey doesn't talk. He's not vocal. You can see that. Xhaka actually is. You need a couple vocal heads that are talking nonstop. No need to grab everyone together and, and, and do it like that. Yes, sometimes I'm with Grizz. It can help. It can change the swing of things. It can kind of get you refocused. But at the same time, you need that you need that vocal experience presence at all times in the game. And I don't think we have that. I think the huddles are are the moments where Zinchenko or Jesus get get, get to say what they want to say. But they should be doing it throughout the 90 minutes. But they're still young and they're not experienced enough to kind of know that yet, in my opinion. So, yeah. Mo says the shark talk is about thirty-eight game season. Toby, a draw puts the title in City's hands. Obviously, we'd want to win, but it's Arsenal who needs to win. Hey, again says Arsenal fans after the Southampton game remind me of the last airbender when the team needed them the most. They vanished. City fans know it's not over. No one's vanished, though. This is what I'm saying. Just because people think that we've thrown I love the it way, away. I love vanished. the way Arsenal fans are in the chat. Some Arsenal fans in the chat telling me, I don't know about leadership, yeah? Because I ain't seen John Terry. I ain't seen, like, Gary Cahill. You're comparing Zinchenko, squad player for Man City, to some leaders. Come on, man. This is how I know you guys don't really had no leadership since Sol Campbell and the Invisible team. Because if you think this is, this is leadership just because you get into a huddle, but you're making mistakes and you're hella emotional in big moments... And you're not really holding down the fort on the pitch and losing your man in the back post. Do you want to talk about leadership? Give it a rest, man. Same minor. Same the way, the way Matisse is digging in. Nah, man. What do you say, Tom? Do you agree? I fully agree with Matisse. And I'm not even trying to say that like he shouldn't do it in general, but I'm like, in that in that specific moment when you are culpable for one of the goals that Arsenal conceded and like your team or 2 0 down, they just want to get on with the game at home, like try and right their wrongs. Like you're just doing too much. You're just doing it, too much. Way too much. 
AMT says, the way this Matisse is giggling as if Shellshite is doing fantastic. Mike says, don't, no don't team. Don't respond, Matisse. <laughs> Mike says, no team Not should ever count points before any game is played. We must win at City, but draw or lose, we were still in it, even though with low probability to win the Premier League. If we lose, I don't think we're in it, but I, I get you. Ryan says, Turkish is over, bro. Like, even a draw is not good enough. We need a Fulham, Everton, West Ham or Brighton to do us a favour. City, free Arsenal, one Wednesday night. I pray I'm wrong, Turks, but we've fallen off a cliff, bro. Uh, I pray you're wrong too, but I think the same. City unbeaten in 15. Law of averages tells us they have to start dropping points. Then again, nothing about City has been average over the last four years. Exactly that. City will still win... City will win six out of five. Five out of six league titles. Is this a farmer's league? Do you guys think the Prem needs a salary cap so all teams have an equal chance to win? I think a salary cap made more sense than FFP, if I'm honest with you, because FFP is still not fair to, 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 to the smaller clubs with less revenue to try cut the gap. Um, I think a salary cap would have been the wiser option, but here we are. It's too late to turn back the hands of time now. Aaron says, big up the panel. Turkish, I was in the queue for fans on earlier about my Wi-Fi cut. I'll definitely be back on next week. At least my internet was back to watch Spurs cooked for 45 minutes. Peak times. Make sure you are. Every Monday, AFTV, 5 p.m. I'm live with the fans. TVG, incorrect, Tobes. Arteta actually hasn't gotten any of our first choice targets. He's had to settle for less. Also, they're the reason we're a fallen giant. That's on the Kronke issue. Ask Toby where Arsenal were before the Cron case. His argument falls flat. That's why he didn't want to let me speak. Let, you know, it's, it's all right. It's not true. Everything you, in fact, everything you said can be applied to Enoch and Spurs, but it's fine. You don't understand that, so it's good. It's all good. Apart, apart from look where Arsenal were when Cron case came in, that can't be applied for you, man. But I didn't say that Arteta is responsible for um, Arsenal being a big club. I said, I want you to give the Cron case credit for Arteta um, spearheading this title race. That's what I said. And I've, and I've given the Cronkays credit for bringing in our oh, yeah. and, and remaining I, on multiple shows now. Say it again. I mean, well, I'll say <laughs> it when I want to say it. Yeah, you can't just say it, man, so say it again. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. <laughs> not, what's this? Not having, Sal not having Saliba is the main reason no one in the squad trusts holding. Nerves as well. And last one here. Honestly, Jesus' interview wasn't the best. Man basically saying they will not win the Prem because they have less people who have been champions. I, I didn't take it like that. I know, I know how some people have taken that interview. It could be taken like that, though, but I get it. There was more that he said afterwards, but yeah. yeah. No, that, that's what I'm saying. I understand how some people have taken it, but I personally didn't take it like that. All right, cool. So let's do it. Man City, home team. So, Hugh, you kick us off with the predictions, my guy. 3-1 City. 3-1, Saeed. I'm going to go... Yeah, I'm going to go 3-1 as well. 3-1. Grizz. Three, 3-2, City. 3-2, Tobes. 3-1, um, Man City. 3-1, Matisse. Yeah, three. <clears throat> I'm going to go three, one Man City as well. Three, one. I'm going three, one as well. No, nah, this, this is this is this is Turkish. You can't be doing this, bro. No, but you, what? You, bro, bro, you're copying, bro. All my, you're, bro, you're copying all my scores. Oh, oh God, listen, Forever Arsenal came out this morning. Go ahead to check what my <laughs> prediction was. It was the same fucking prediction. This, <laughs> is actually, this is corruption. Yeah? This is corruption, bro. You know what? <laughs> You why don't, off, why yeah? don't you back me then? When I bring out new like, <laughs> rules and regulations, why don't you back me, Matisse? This is why I told you, innit? <laughs> Yo, this is mad. I know this shit. I know this game. <laughs> I used to play it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, okay. Why are you so shocked to you? Yeah. Forget it, man. It doesn't matter. You, you do your thing. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> they're the bridesmaids, bro. Let them be the bridesmaids. I just, I just thought he'd have more confidence, man. 
That's all. Confidence, bro. Where do you think I'm finding the confidence to beat you, man, at City right now? Nah, Hughes on the confidence hype this evening, man. He's asking everybody to have confidence. Nah, listen, sorry, is good right now. They've, they've been excellent all season. They've had a blip the last the last few weeks. Surely they they can galvanize themselves for their biggest game in God knows how long. <laughs> Twenty years. You'd hope so. You'd hope so. At the same time, fair enough, man, fair I'm just saying that I wouldn't produce a loss if I was Liverpool, even if there was any situation. Mm-hmm. What do you want? Damn right. Yeah. That's all right. Like, we're all different. <laughs> I'm just saying, yeah, 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 100%. 100%. <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 100%. Life's different. Life's different. Yeah, life's different. But this Yo, is a <laughs> similar feeling in terms of the pain because I don't want to be predicting that we're going to lose to City, but here I am predicting it because oh. that's what I think. I don't think we're going to get three points. I don't think we're even going to get a draw. What can I do about that? They're oh, going to have to... Back the boys, no? No, back back the boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let them let, let, let them do their thing, man. Back themselves. Let, let me let, let me let me just hope for the best and pray because that's that's all I can really do. Um Grizz, we passed the two hours and we still got Liverpool to talk about. Forest free two and a game against West Ham away coming up Wednesday, I believe. Oh shit, yeah, 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 yeah. We've got a game. Yeah, horrible stadium. West Ham hit a bit of form. Away from home, Liverpool are dead. We're nasty. But I'm gonna predict. I'm gonna predict a two-one win. Just, just, win. just vibes, yeah, just whatever, isn't it? Like, you know what I mean, let's just end the season now. And to the people in the chat as well, our Turkish ain't a real Arsenal fan. I've, I've been going to games since Highbury, my guys. Since Highbury, I've seen us win league titles. Do you think me predicting three-one City here or four-nil Arsenal? Is gonna matter come Wednesday night. Honestly, do you think it fucking makes a, a, any difference at all? It doesn't make any difference. It's you swearing, swearing. Yeah. <laughs> you wanna pick the win? You're nasty, Toby. Pick the win. Pick the win. I see Babs in the chat as well saying, "Trust the process." Babs, you predict the win, my guy. That's all good. It's all good. ever since Babs run his mouth. Ting, ting's not looking the same. Yeah, Babs. Yeah, Babs peaked early, but that's young. <laughs> like, <isn't it>? Yeah, Babs. <laughs> Yo. Talking to me about London. Babs, and too much, London man. is London is yeah. London Babs, this, Experience man. is a humbler, my my brother. <laughs> yeah, experience yeah, is yeah. a humbler. Yo, brother. Babs got trust the process today, but he didn't want to give a straightforward answer on last Thursday. It's mm. crazy. About, about what? Long day. About winning the league. So <laughs> I just found it hilarious. <laughs> like, he, has the, he has the audacity <laughs> to do that. So you have to He said we should. That's what he said. We should. He said we should beat Southampton. I said, are, are you going to beat? We should. I said, okay. He did the. If you had ah, back the team, him. maybe they would have. Man, experience oh, is a humble. Yeah, fall on me. Thursday, come everyone blame me. Everyone in the chat, come say it's because I predicted that we're going to lose. Yeah, I don't <laughs> That's just dumb chat, isn't it? <laughs> um, Grizz, you said 2-1 Liverpool. Um, mm. Tobes? Um, God, I hate West Ham. I really do. Um, it's random. <laughs> screw it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go... Yeah, I'm going to go 2-1 Liverpool as well. 2-1 Matisse. What are we going for? Um, I'm going to go 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. Two, two. I'm going to go 2-1 Liverpool. There you go, Matisse. You hear that? I'm going 2-1 Liverpool. You're going with the team that's expected to win every single game. I've clocked. Well, well, that's what you're supposed <laughs> to do in predictions? You're, you're playing. <laughs> yeah, but there's no, there's no surprise. Like there's, Every single week, somebody doesn't win that's expected to win. He's just going with the safe bet every single one. That's why you're wrong. He's very defensive, moving very defensive right now. You need to change up your tactics, Matisse. Can you think logic? Like, like, look at that oh, tactic. You just Look at the logic that Matisse just used. To... It's not where you lost it now, Matisse. <laughs> you lost it a while ago, man. You started anything. from Matt Collins. As Saeed says, anything can happen. Anything can happen. Yeah, anything yeah. can happen. You. Anything yeah. can happen. <laughs> <laughs> 2-0, Liverpool. 2-0. Oh, you lot give me jokes, man. Um... You know what? I'm going to go with West Ham to win 2-1. Yeah, you can afford to do some of these things anyway, Saeed. Man. Yeah, You're flying at it. Chill, chill vibes, isn't it? Win-win Just... situation, bro. Win-win situation. Wait, how far is he from me? Clear. Ah, let's, let's bring up the table now. <laughs> All the predictions are in. So let me look at the table. Let's see what it's looking like. Everyone got two points in the weekend, so it's, it's not looking different positionally. <laughs> so... 
for the people listening on audio platform, Saeed still top 126 points. Told in second on 116 points. Hughes in third on 112. Grizz in fourth on 111. I'm fifth on 106. And Matisse is last on 103. No wonder Turkish is short in, bro. Yeah, it's peak. It's yeah. peak. It's gap there, I'd, it? I'd like to confirm I'm out of the title race now. <laughs> um, Is that a yeah, yeah, we're out of the tight race next year. Ain't we all, my bro? Apart from Toby, the biggest fall off, bro. You know, if you actually deep, he was top, you know, and he's mm. actually the World Cup break. It's the World Cup break. It, it messed us up, it messed us up. The yeah. momentum killed that's the momentum. Li- that's Liverpool levels, brother. Yeah, we killed the <laughs> momentum after that. We, we, we was frazzled, we didn't know how to, mm. didn't know how to respond to the World Cup. You need, to, you need to, we need to do a huddle. Yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could have done it in January. Man. We'll link up next. We do a huddle for Matisse. <laughs> yeah, cool. We need to do a huddle. All right, cool. That's all the predictions in. That's the fixtures in midweek. We are back Thursday, 10.30. That's the plan. Thursday, 10.30. And if it's not on Thursday, it'll be Friday, 9 p.m. But I think we'll be all right for Thursday, 10.30. We should all be here, hopefully. Um because there are some big games to talk about. Man City, Arsenal being the biggest. Tottenham, Man United in there as well. So a couple of big six uh, pictures. I'm going Wednesday. Oh no, Thursday. So my bad. My bad. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. But follow us on socials, people. TikTok, Instagram, Twitter at the Big Six Show. We keep people up to date there on exactly when the next show is coming. So make sure if you've got social media, Twitter, Instagram, and t- um, TikTok. Make sure you follow us. Make sure you follow us, people. Um, I think I've got all the super chats in. I believe I have. If I have missed any, apologies, people, but it's time to wrap up the show. We've done overtime, two hours, 15 minutes. So make sure you hit the like button. How many likes are we on? 2.4K. Not bad, not bad, but there's still 6.8K here. So I'm sure a lot of you, I know a lot of you haven't hit the like button. So make sure you hit the like button. If you're watching after, hit the like button. Leave your comments below. Subscribe to the Mandem, Hugh, Saeed, Grizz, Tobes, Matisse, and Skull Fuggery. All of the channel links are in the description below. And just a reminder, people seven days left to use the 50 percent code for factor 75 if you're living in the u.s you need ready-made meals your life's a bit hectic or you want to go on a diet plan all of that stuff they help out um so go on the website link in the description link in the live chat i'll put a link in the comment section to use the code factor se32690 and you'll get that um discount people only in the u.s but manscaped 20 percent off everywhere wherever you are tb620 will get you 20 percent off to show some love to the sponsors if you can, if you want to do that, because it helps us too. Love for the love. We'll be back Thursday or Friday. Peace, people. We're out. Yes, people, let's take a little break to big up the sponsors. And this one's for my people in the US. If you don't know about Factor, then get to know. Factor provides fresh, ready-made meals delivered to your doorstep. And by fresh, I mean fresh, never frozen, and designed by dietitians to ensure every meal is packed with premium, science-backed nutritional quality. No more meal prep, no more dishes, no more unhealthy fast food. Factor offers the most convenient way to eat well, whilst eating right. The menus are updated weekly or you can let Factor craft your order based on your taste. It's convenient and it offers flexibility. There's something for everyone, people. Use the link in my description or use the code Factor SE32690 for 50% off your first box.